Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to Ludo History and welcome to Stray Gods. I am so unbelievably excited. In fact, I am so excited that I could not possibly do this game alone. Uh, so I brought some friends. Uh, hello. We have, hello! We have, uh, you know, one of the most well-known internet personalities for classical mythology and also a big musical theater fan, Red from Overly Sarcastic <laughs> Productions. Hello, I have seen three Broadway musicals in my life. Uh, and that qualifies me to comment on this subject. Exactly. <laughs> you are an authority. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Capital A authority. We also have, uh, you know, certified, bona fide classics major and uh, Austin, huge Austin Wintry fan, Blue from Overly Sarcastic Productions. That is my qualification, is that I am an absolute sin for Austin Wintry's music. It's, me too. It's the best stuff. Uh, I just can't get over how echolalically pleasing certified bona fide was in that sentence. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to everyone. So many new people uh, tuning in. So it's lovely to see you all. Uh, includes legendary bunny snail knight. You are correct, Vulcan. Uh, to introduce myself, uh, I am Adam. Uh, I run this channel and we do exclusively sort of, uh, historical and historical adjacent games on here. Uh, I'm a professional public historian, I actually work at a special collections library, so Ooh. we can bring all of those together uh, and play a huge variety of historical games on the channel for all of this. Uh, can't relate? I know, right? <laughs> Short-term jobs, but jobs nonetheless. Good time zones, everyone. Uh, so, <laughs> if you've not heard about this game before, this game has just a lot of stuff happening, uh, because it is a role-playing musical. So it is a full-length, like, interactive visual novel musical uh, based on Greek mythology. And that is completely insane. What I really love about just the premise of this game from, like, a mathematical perspective is that um, Austin Winter and the team who put this together were like, you know how like some games are like choose your own adventure and it's like branching dialogue trees? Baby mode. Get that shit out of here. This is music. The songs will dynamically change depending on your choices. It feels God, like something so cool. that has never quite been done before, which is very cool in the game design field, which is... Uh... You know, everyone learns from everybody else, so you often, like, someone does something for the first time and then five million games come out of the woodwork that do it. Um, and we have seen a few games that do that, but do something new that is so hard to, like, mimic that it takes everyone else, like, years to catch up. This feels comparable to that. It's like how everyone started aping Breath of the Wild after Breath of the Wild figured out how to make open worlds work, but it took them all, like, five years to copy the engine because it was so yeah. big. Um... This is like... Okay, so first, how do we steal Austin Wintry? Uh, <laughs> Step one, we heist him out of the office. Telltale Games Speak is quaking in their boots right now. <laughs> Speaking of, I hope you're doing well, Austin. I see you there in chat. <laughs> what? Hello, sir. Whoa! <laughs> So, I blue, you want to to say, I was so excited to play this. I'm sorry we're in the menu right now rather than getting into the actual meat of the game. <laughs> the menu's uh, not even showing. Exactly. On that note, though, I think we should get it showing. So, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. Before so, leaves. before we do that very quickly, uh, if no. you do enjoy yeah. this, make sure you hit the follow button like everyone else is doing um, because it's go a good time. Uh, and we will not get through the whole game today, but we will have future streams of this. So, uh, without further ado, yeah, let's do it. New game. I played the first demo of this, and then I went on media blackout because it is, <laughs> uh, you know, worth it. So, that being said, uh, huge, firstly, right, like to acknowledge the uh, Vundajeri and Bawarung people of the Kulin Nation, the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation, and uh, built on Tree 6 territory, including Cree, Solto, Nisitapi, Metis, and Nakota. So, wow. just huge shout. Also, there are some content warnings um, for this game, so obviously mm -hmm. as we go through, please use your best judgment to, and practice good self care. Because it's really cool to see a yeah. game do this. We've yeah. come a long way from the days of, of Ubisoft's like this game was made by a team of like like that's that's great, but like this is <laughs> this is really something. That's yeah, that's cool to see a game do that. Yeah. Alright, let's get into it. Let's do it. 
Thanks for dropping by, Austin. Congratulations on the launch. We're really excited for this and for the team and for you. Enjoy your Twitter notifications for the day. <laughs> Four hours. Are we going to see Apollo? Oh, yes. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma. Musical and where did they not get us? The God Other than music. <laughs> this <is not> silly. <laughs> the band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there. If they'd show up. This is going to be a real game of guess the uh, voice actor. <laughs> this is Laura Bailey. Of course it's Laura Bailey. Laura Bailey. Well, they showed well, up yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning. Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing, Freddy. You're just trying to make me feel better. How about making us feel better? We sat through this, too. <laughs> I'm so sorry oh, you all character. had such a rough time. Freddy has a bad idea. What else is new? Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? Oh, yeah. Crashing you said on it'd couch. be two days. <laughs> you know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Uh, the cast in this game is absolutely stacked. Hey, Grace, I'm trying to, like, okay? put together who's who. <laughs> I know you've been kind of loose heads. Let me just pull up the tasty IMGB page. Just hoping tonight it's... would cheer you up. <laughs> You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> well, I just I mean, inadvertently spoiled myself just... for every god that's going to show up in this game. Wish it wasn't. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> 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 hey, don't. Okay. Don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All, all of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Oh. Aww. <laughs> I want that hat. <laughs> I, th I want that hat. Uh, actually, everyone's fashion sense thus far has been extremely on point. Like this is like the new go-to group cosplay. Lost at <laughs> sea With no sails Not a breeze I am drifting cold waters No star to be seen Is the world too much yep. Or is it just me Everything I set upon Unravels at my feet Everything I've learned Wasted on a girl Sorry. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Piano. I just I heard you from outside. Oh, Ashley, what's up? <laughs> My name's Ashley Johnson. Clippy. What's cracking? You, you have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. L literally, Clippy, abuse. you're named after Friends. a Greek muse. Did you know that? I'm, I'm Grace. <laughs> Are you here for the audition or? J Janet, there are four <laughs> versions of the soundtrack, just yes. as a record for the record. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I own all four of them already. <laughs> you 
really want to join our band. You sure you got the right audition? I'd give anything to join you, Grace. <laughs> it's some kind of acclaimed right. well, actual play podcast, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> With yeah. the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Grief from all the promises, too many dreams unsung. All the steps I didn't take and paths proved untrue. Is there any path through? Like a boat lost at sea. Oh, I'm about to With end. No I don't know if I'm leading too far into this, but I get some Aeneid vibes on this because the opening of the Aeneid is Aeneas on the raft, like, I'm on a boat, it's storming, I'm gonna die, this sucks. Oh, well, I mean, if we're getting Aeneid vibes, it's because what we're getting is Odyssey vibes. Like, oh, come on. The Aeneid spoiler <laughs> What if we took the Odyssey and took all the subtlety out of it? Yeah, yeah. It's a true Roman approach to storytelling. <laughs> it's like Greece, but more. <laughs> also, we have to choose our main trait here. We can be uh, charming. This is Grace with soul and charisma. We can be kick-ass. This Grace is, ace is very punk rock and not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for. And clever. Sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem, right? This Grace you know is what I love sneakier, about this? smarter, this and witty. This is just the judgment of Paris, but for one character. Yes, it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, yes. All right, wow. so that, that does unfortunately mean charming is the dangerous option. I think we gotta go clever, right? Clever? I, mean, I like that too, yeah. Clever? Yeah. All right, we're all in agreement. Yeah. Clever. I think chat was going for punk rock. But, uh, we were clever. Well, Chad, I guess you'll have no choice but to play this game yourself. I know, tragic. I really like that. The song kind of goes for a while before the player is asked to, like, figure stuff out. It's a good way to, to ease in the mechanics. Mm-hmm. Well, what was that? Non-diegetic music. Your song <laughs> was just so wonderful. I had to finish it with you. I hope that's all right. When instruments will itself into existence <laughs> to accompany yes. your song. Lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. You are here to audition. You... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, something's hinky over you didn't here. Know about it. <laughs> Caught and called out. I was nearby, and your song called to me. I just... I didn't want you to think I was deranged or something. Weirder things have happened, I guess. May I ask you why you feel so... adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is... just beginning. No young person ever feels directionless and what? paralyzed by Joyce. No. <laughs> I mean, Calliope like wouldn't my have counselor. the best perspective on it. Being <laughs> then like I should apologize. Years old. I'm just <laughs> no, no, it's fine. There's just only so many times someone can ask what's wrong with you before you start to think there's really something wrong with you. Whoa. But what does she know? <laughs> if only she could see me now, right? Someone, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Get that hand grab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think she'd see what I see. I should go. Oh. <laughs> no, get back here. <laughs> Am I gonna see you again? I know you didn't really come to join the band, but I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Like Thursday. Like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to the Sorry. joke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's the joke about Thursday? It's when they do Just... critical role together. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> Thank you. Peer reviewed.
I like that they labeled the fridge. <laughs> Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Grace. Oh god. You're hurt. I'll get help. No. No. You have to wait. <laughs> yeah, they're just speed running the romantic subplot. Go. Exactly. I didn't now she has to say, who did this to you? <laughs> like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey, Calliope! Please, please come on. Oh, hey, uh, the spirit orb. <laughs> <laughs> what? Blorb? What is that? That's Calliope, baby girl. Well, well, that's probably not good. <laughs> the little harp earrings. Mm -hmm. Well, now I gotta figure out what to do with this dead lady. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, oh, oh I know what's happening! I can wait. Take your time. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Because he's a psychopath! psychopath. <laughs> Is that my door? Technically, <laughs> Not it's anymore. my door. Or our door, maybe? I am... Um, I came as soon as I could. Who? What? Huh? Help. Well, we know <laughs> the answer to who are you. Exactly. <laughs> uh, hold on. Who are you? How did you get here? The subtitles the already told us. I mean, jeez, how did you get here? F thank you, Hermes. Real helpful. It's Erika Ishii. Yeah. I knew he sounded familiar. Huh? God, the cast so, in this the game. course is gonna want to talk to you, sex, but you know. <laughs> but, what? I feel like oh, oh, oh. you can't choose the kick-ass option because you're can't. too smart. Nope. Um, so importantly, I'm not very punk rock. Oh. I don't understand. None of this makes any sense. She's dead, and I, I, I don't. Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick. But then you gotta come with me, okay? And Cal died just saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. And then that essentially explains why the gods just kind of like persist through the world. Their souls just keep getting transferred through. Very exalted of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess she's Calliope now or something. Or something. <clears throat> well, that's ominous. Uh, uh, where I are love we? Sorry CEO to drop you and run, office. but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Uh oh. Wait! Come back! Speed run. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here. Oh, Percy's uh, with the head of Medusa. Not mm -hmm. nice statue reference. Anything. But that went real that, well. That huh? counts as touching something. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come, come on. on. Go, go for it. Yes. We picked the smart option. Is okay. This like the. <laughs> the <bubble into? laughs> oh. Oh. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Squad up. <laughs> Squad the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Space Nerd, a whole lot of stuff happened in those 10 minutes. We I met Calliope. Calliope died. Hermes showed up. Our Hermes abandoned us, and now sister, everyone else. The last of the Muses has passed on to you. Our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. Who's this? It's, uh, this is Athena. Grace. No, I mean the voice yes. actress. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, my, my. <clears throat> you have had Outrageous. quite the day, haven't you? Ugh. She's... Th that's, like, sickeningly <laughs> sweet. Yeah. It's fully so dead. Calliope is really dead. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Even if she's a... A god? Amazing. Yeah, mm. a, a god. Hmm. Yes, we call it passing um, on, but performances are sadly it happens ruling right even now. to us. Mm -hmm. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion as always. Mr. Baker. <laughs> the wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. Hell and yeah, girl. the one glaring at you is Persephone. <gasps> once queen of the underworld. Yeah. Oh. Together, we are the chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. Just a fire wolf, will this be saved as a pod? Yes, it will be. All of us are accessible through the uh, VOD videos page on the channel here. Mm -hmm. And Aphrodite is Merle Dandridge, and Persephone is Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Ah, incredible. Nice. God, it's so funny that like like us the players are trope savvy enough to be like, oh yeah, I know what's happening here, but of course, poor <laughs> Grace is like, what the fuck? What is God's happening? Are real. Grace should have read the Dolores Book of Greek Myths, just baby. Stories, yeah. myths, legends. Uh -huh. If you're real, you'd be all powerful. You wouldn't be hiding or. Mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with, and Oops. well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people trying to get by. Uh, right, and you I live really here, like this interpretation. not in some city in Europe or a... <laughs> On top of a mountain? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. Famous like, these mortals grow more you clever, yet also somehow gods. they're dumb as shit. Yep. Uh -huh. Idols <laughs> have been living among anyone. us for what? <clears throat> thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh, no. No, I'm not trying to make you believe anything. Sure. Not at all. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are, <laughs> I don't know, actors, religious fanatics, by all means. Mm -hmm. The only thing I do need you to grasp is that you are here. This is real, and like it or not, it is happening. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too, and an idol. That is true. That, that thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon, the part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol, which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. Yeah, fuck it up, girl. The reason... You're here, Grace. The reason why we made you wait so long while we debated. Yeah. Ancient Greek literature and Eidolon rules. is a spirit Those image of a living or dead person, a shade or a phantom of a human usurper. form. Cool. Never mind a possible yeah. murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so oh, sorry to say. Oh, I knew it. Say, I knew we couldn't trust her. Dang it. I'm afraid you have to die. Well, that was, uh, what? What gives you the right? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you have to die? Oh, it's that was exactly a smart option. As it sounds, Grace. You can't do that. What about a trial? I think this is the smart option. You want the police? Mm -hmm. Why hasn't someone that called the sense, police? Yeah. <laughs> Calliope's <laughs> blood is literally on your hands. Yeah, don't ignore them. <laughs> isn't? It... Oh 
she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end. Oh, look at the yes, gun. <laughs> but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done for Calliope's sake. But this isn't justice. Oh. Yeah. Let her rock. it, boys. Let's go. Oh, I think it's pissed. I think it's like, God damn it. From this reality. I'm not hiding, though I'm a little lost here. If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, please listen. There's a statue there. Have usurped a muse? No recourse to be arranged, but it's unfair. I know I just say I didn't but kill her. Our laws cannot <laughs> be changed, but she came to me. Yes, yeah. we've seemed to have not made it to that point yet. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she you must know. Do it. Anyway. Is it weird this isn't song? Now <laughs> that the muse is gone, no, the is gone. gone. <laughs> I'm afraid you I love how much this game leans into the musical theater aesthetics. Oh, yeah. The chorus oh. is in a chord. Just a Disagree. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, <laughs> Troy! <laughs> Only Did a I... god of music can interrupt a Hear musical number. <laughs> You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I Head grieve my abs first. Just as much as the rest of you, Pat. I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks that, the that truth? That sweet, delectable bass With voice. <laughs> And what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Good note. Of, po of course, Apollo stands uh, up for the line of the muses. I thought we'd agree. Yeah, this he's was the leader justice. Of the <laughs> and what they said she was the last do? one. Uh, find the truth, man. Find the truth? There has to be some way to find the truth. So no more Aren't chilling from gods? here on out. Okay. Oh my god. Gotta make some choices, I don't know. gang. <laughs> oh boy. We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. Okay, so great, great. <laughs> Wait, how? I, I, I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some no. direction. Absolutely not. Your own. I would. Take. I love it. You really think the Greek gods are gonna help you? <laughs> you have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? Come on. There man. will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, oh, our original verdict stands. Oh, boy. Oh, I invented the first justice system, but I didn't catch on that innocent until proven guilty is the superior version. I just uh, liked using the spear so much, I didn't really stop to think whether I should. <laughs> <laughs> well, What's well, the fun of making a justice system if you can't also be the can executioner? Can someone explain to me just how I'm supposed to find the truth? Huh? I'm not a detective. I don't know anything about the idols well that's rules. for you to figure out I oh knew you were gonna say that how did i know you were gonna say that <laughs> we're not going to keep you grace you have much to do uh -oh. before you go arbitrary however, rules we have yep. a few rules oh whatever do not seems reveal our existence them. to the mortal world this includes mortal authorities that cannot help you do not harm another idol do not leave the city do as the chorus commands hmm. otherwise do whatever you must to find the true killer, if they exist. 
Oh, that's all? Merely. Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Well, we have permission this time. I wonder if you picked <laughs> one of the dumbass options if you could have picked a cookie. <laughs> Day one. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let, let's see if <laughs> <clears throat> Let's check out our journal. Freddy has been my best friend since, oh, probably forever. We used to make up rhymes when we skipped rope. It's been that long. We've come a long way from those days. Edge of Elysium is her band, and inviting me in was her idea. I was keen on joining, since I haven't seen Freddy much since I left school, but it's been kinda rough going. I can sing, sure, and when we get a gig it feels good being up there, up there on stage. But is this really my thing? I don't know. This girl is in desperate need of an I want song. True. <laughs> Good, I've got great news for you. Uh, <laughs> I know Calliope was one of the muses. Is that the same as being a god? Oh boy. I'm afraid we may need to stop by a library here before we get too excited. Depends on which ancient source you're asking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that's really and about. How many of them were there? Older versions say three, later versions say nine. Yay. I don't know where she lived, or what she got up to, or who her enemies were. I have so many questions. <clears throat> For one, what was she doing when she found me at the gymnasium? Was she just passing by, or did she plan that? How did she know where I lived? I keep thinking about what Calliope said to me before she died. She seemed so sad. Did she know this was going to happen? Most of all, why did she pick me? Gay. It's because she's gay, girl. It's fine. True. <laughs> uh, a, a fatal case of being stabbed in the gut. Is the mm -hmm. my idea. It's a big, it's a big problem. Oh, hey, Cyan. Hermes is the Hello, idol Norman. that came to collect me at my apartment when Calliope died. I didn't know their name at the time, of course. Athena only mentioned who they were afterwards. I guess they're the god of doorways, maybe? <laughs> Not if you ask the Romans, but sure. <laughs> I don't think you go anywhere with that power. Big no, no, Hermes is a liminal god. Uh, doorways are kind of in his purview, but the Romans had a lot more granularity, so you had a lot more small gods. Exactly. Hermes yeah, I mean, like 12 like, of their thief gods on the way in. Doorways are, are part of it, but it's like, yeah, I think, like, I think Poseidon is the god of the very tippy tops of the waves on the sea. Like, specifically, <laughs> that's it. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah. I was specifically thinking, right, uh, in, like, first century Rome, Giannis has basically supplanted the yeah. the threshold god from Hermes. I mean, knowing the Romans, Janus was probably their threshold god before they decided they wanted Mercury. But that's yeah. that's fair. Uh, anyway, Austin, did you come for this in-depth Greek god commentary? <laughs> that's what we're here for. That's the whole point. Uh, I love that. I love that Grace's first thought is do crime. <laughs> Well, the thing is, that's correct. <laughs> she clocked them immediately. <laughs> oh, this is a nasty crime boy. Fair. Uh, could Hermes have been involved in Calliope's death? They seem surprised, if not really broken up about it. Not that Hermes strikes me as someone who does much deep thinking. They seem <coughs> more like a kid, although I guess looks can be deceiving. Hey, uh, hey, wait. Literally, the first the story of his first exploit is uh, do crime get away with it because he's a cute kid. <laughs> Yeah. I want to know if the tone of the diaries changes if you choose to not be smart. I would be super curious about that. Here's what? the thing, like, mm -hmm. given that the genre of songs can change, changing the tone of the diary seems like Much absolute easier. child's play in comparison. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, why did they have to come when Calliope died? Uh, I see we have not been to a library yet. And they did it right away, too. Kinda <laughs> sus, if you ask me. <laughs> to be fair, Hermes' psychopomp affiliations are like way down the list of shit he's a god of, so. Yeah. I mean, that's fair, but if you've. I mean, shows up in the Orphic traditions, and those are relatively well known. No, they're not. <laughs> well, or I should say, the Orpheus tradition, more so than the Orphic traditions. Even then, he's a very minor character in that outside of Hades Town. Um, anyway. Hades Town, though. <laughs> mm -hmm, true. Aphrodite is the goddess of love, and I can't believe it. She has that gay, sparkle. Gay, gay. Well, you look at her. <laughs> She's one of those old timey movies. <laughs> True. Calliope's All... gone. Sometimes I can still hear her voice. Gay, gay, homosexual, gay. <laughs> <laughs> All, all glamour and presence. I bet if she walks into a room, everyone stops what they're doing to stare at her. 
Why she's part of the chorus, I have no idea. She seemed kinda quiet and sad, like she's busy writing some teary ballad in her head and not really listening to what's going on around her. If Aphrodite is behind Calliope's death, then she hides it super well. Maybe you just naturally learn how to be a great actress after a thousand years or so? But how would I know? <laughs> I don't know much about this Apollo. He's the only guy on the chorus, but he didn't say much of anything until he kind of defended me, I guess? At least he disagreed with the you need to die verdict. Guess I own one. If I actually owed anyone for giving me an extra week before they kill me, not so sure about that. Athena introduced Apollo as the god of prophecy, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. Don't prophets wear long robes and speak in big booming voices? This one looks less like a god and more like a surfer who crashed on the beach after a party and still hasn't found all of his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Uh, could you kill Calliope? I can't take anything for granted when it comes to these people. Also, One of my favorite, like, literary things is objectively attractive man described from woman deeply unattracted to men. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, a running theme throughout Gideon the Ninth, and it's my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, uh, an another little bit of uh, reception studies, like, long robes and speaking big booming voices, uh, Charleston Heston has really influenced our idea of prophets. Mm. Fucking Ten Commandments ruining, like, everything thereafter for a while. Oh boy. Anyway, Athena's supposed to be the god of wisdom, but how does that work? Is it a power of hers? Does she just know things? She's supposed to be really powerful, but how exactly? Mostly she just seemed like my mom. Or anyone's mom. Maybe that's what she is to the idols, the mom who looks after them and keeps them going. She was all smiles and was even super sweet when she told me I had to die, like it would be no big deal. That makes her a scary mom, like the kind that has to speak to a manager when things don't go her way, because things always go her way. Maybe I'm wrong? Maybe she's the cool mom. Maybe she'll keep smiling while she smothers me with a pillow because she's thousands of years old and then basically nothing in comparison. And maybe she killed Calliope and that makes me an annoyance because that means her murder didn't quite take? But then, why give me the chance to prove myself? If she really wanted to be dead, couldn't she have said, no, no, but let's nip this in the butt? I think it really seems like the type would do that, right? Idols are so confusing. It's so funny that, like, immediately she's like, well, she seems very powerful. Mom vibes? <laughs> <laughs> paragraphs of mom vibes. It's yep. so fucking funny. But I also feel like there's, like, this undercurrent of, like, do the idols, is it like, oh, these these are, they look like people, but they've actually been like this for thousands of years, or is it like, oh, the soul goes on, and then they're still Athena, but they're in a different body, because that doesn't seem to be how it worked with Calliope, but like, what the fuck? Anyway. It, it, it seems like they have to, like, consciously pass it on. Like, they can get, definitely get killed, but the idol can be kind of handed around. And if someone gets like... fully got with no one around, they just die. I guess my assumption was like, oh, these guys all look wildly different, uh, but sort of appropriate because it's like, oh, I was the last Aphrodite, but you get to be Aphrodite. But now it seems kind of like that's not how it works, which is fine. Like, we're still learning how this goes, but... Exactly. Also, I noticed yeah. Athena, Athena's the only one who's wearing, uh... What she's supposed Greek, to be wearing. Greek yeah. clothes? Like, yeah. I mean, we've got reminiscent of, uh, male on... Here with oh yeah that is the Aegis just fully hanging it's out the Aegis, yeah, as a brooch. Exactly. Uh, she's she's, she's and the dressed Keaton. like she is in her statues. So. Exactly. Yeah. And then Persephone. What did Athena say about Persephone? She's basically she's the queen of the underworld. I had to look that up, but that's basically the idol version of hell. Does that mean Boom. it's a real place? Like you die and go to the underworld, or maybe that only happens to idols. I see we uh, Wikipedia crutched it. Weak sauce. <laughs> Mind you, Athena didn't exactly say Persephone was the queen of the underworld, did she? She said once the queen of the underworld, so she isn't any longer. She's also the only idol that Athena didn't say was the god of something or other. I'm willing to bet there's a whole story about that. Uh, whatever she is, it's pretty clear that Persephone hates me, and not just because she thinks I'm a murderer. Because don't they all think that? It feels personal. Those sharp eyes of her wanted to gut me and hang me on a clothesline, so I'd better watch my back. Alright. Well, I'm sure this will be fine. And, uh... I'm sure there's not a body in there. Persephone was queen of the underworld, but then that, uh, that Yeshua boy from Nazareth started making a mess. Uh, <laughs> making a mess. Grace? 
Oh, we, we got some swinging to do. Oh, <laughs> I really thought Great. that, like, Freddy had shown up and there was a body. <laughs> uh, hi. She, she was, was like, just chilling there, like, I'm hi. sure she'll explain this when she hi. comes home. Hi. Hi. You're kidding, like, right? Body. Yeah. Yeah. When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace, <sighs> we thought something happened to you. To you? Sort of. Uh, Don't say you didn't find a body. Don't say <laughs> we are smart. But we what, are too what, smart for that. But what? Chat, chat, chat. We should say it, right? <laughs> no, no. Chat, chat, Come chat, on, chat, chat, chat. Come on, I became a god. I became a god. No, no, he's got a point. <laughs> uh, ask the do, do. It would be funny. The objectively dumbest. Ah, uh, come on, chat. This would be the dumbest thing for us clever playthrough to try to do. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. This would be the smart thing to do, given that Athena just told us don't br don't tell people. I but... think we're gonna get seen through instantly. I prefer honesty because fuck Athena in this version. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> She said no, like cops or whatever. But we're yeah, better than this. God too. All right, all right. We'll we'll, we'll be tell better your friends, than this. But no narcs. Yeah. Yes, but you are seriously not gonna believe it. Ah, oh, one of those nights, huh? Well, it better be good. I became a god, Freddy. For real. I would have probably said that differently. You were gone whatever. all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? Okay. So, so what exactly are you the god of? Oh, Late shit. night lattes. Oh, pan, 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 pan. Yeah. Uh -oh. Is that... <laughs> I want to say this smart is smart friends who never stop holy, talking. I think. I believe so. Perfect. Can I be your high priestess? Yes. No. Oh, uh, we should get well, some candles for the altar. Well, if this is the minotaur, that's If not, it's Carrie Payton. This is this is Pat. Uh, okay, then yeah, never mind. Uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? Yeah. I uh, told you, I'm a god. I did tell you about the god thing, Freddy. <laughs> okay, Carrie Payton. Why well, you got me there? Oh. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns. Because I allow you to see the horns. Oh man, what a voice. It's crazy, right? As to who I am, slow. <laughs> I've been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? Oh, but he's some kind of cosplayer. Is indescribable. Truly. The days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. And I am ready to I've make come to offer a our mess. newest idol. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? Smart, 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 smart. Smart, smart. And what smart. do you get out of helping smart. me exactly? Now that is an excellent question. See, we're getting yeah. a you know that kind of baseless <laughs> suspicion if you're going to survive among us. Is it baseless? I've already had my life threatened tonight. Whoa, wait. <laughs> life threatened? What? Oh, I'm oh, so no. glad Freddy's in on this. By some God, Karen, don't worry them. about it. What accent is Pat supposed to have? Like, hmm? there's a question of like native English speakers, what accent is Pan supposed to have? Uh, sexy. Deep, deep South, like, blues musician. New Orleans kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, New we Orleans were honest. In parentheses, sexy. <laughs> really. <laughs> we were honest. So we can just talk about on the back. Oh, in front of Freddy. Here I thought you'd already informed her of your. Or as Apollo situation. is sexy in parentheses, yeah, sexy. Think <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I don't. Um, um, should I? No, sorry, the we, prohibition we against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? <laughs> she can be trusted. I will she? make an exception because she Why looks very polite. That I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz. Oh, I can guarantee it. <laughs> okay, Freddy, have a seat. Let's talk. A montage? Oh no, that's a lot of hours. That's a lot. <laughs> huh. Well, Freddy that's actually it? knows shit about Greek mythology. Huh? Yeah. I guess. 
do <laughs> the one genre you savvy believe person in this, in this story. Case? She's like, okay, so which god did you shit talk? Because we might be in trouble. And she's like, uh, <laughs> Athena, and she's like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure, but I had proof. I traveled through a magical. If you door, also managed to like piss off school. Hera, then you are fucked. <laughs> I think Hera's probably dead. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am Aww. here to support my best friend. Aww. 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 I bet oh, if I you do a lot of romance stuff, so Aphrodite yeah. becomes more on your side. He sat next to me in lunch period, dummy. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> my friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye. It truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. Seems rather convenient, you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. <laughs> He's not going to tell you, Grace. <laughs> There's not much to tell. <laughs> Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. Freddy is Janina Gavanka, mm -hmm. FYI. Uh, probably best known as Eden Versio oh, in Star Wars oh, Alpha True, and she is so great. Freddy rules. Oh, hell yeah. So still don't yeah. trust Pan? Uh, God. not trusting Pan yes. is correct. <laughs> I, I trust, trust Pan you. to be in it for himself Nobody and not be the person who stabs Calliope. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pan is perfectly happy to exploit for an awful uh, situation for go. someone else for I his own I have not, benefit. however, <laughs> asked for anything. As of yet. God, it's so fun to play this with like the the, the, the mythological background knowledge. It's because we're it's just like, doing the fucking walks in the room, and like we immediately know like oh like do not trust her one second. But obviously like the actors are doing such a great job of immediately selling you on the vibe of each character. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, another note there, right? The New Orleans blues aesthetic for Pan is just so smart because even if you knew nothing about this, right? The idea of I don't know. The blues musician uh, selling their soul to the devil. Mm. Right? Oh, yeah, and a guy so shows up in ingrained horns. in Americana. Yeah. It's so ingrained in Americana, like, I mean, ca cartoon traditions, if nothing else, mm. uh, that you're gonna get it. And that happens to be mythologically appropriate for Pan, yeah. even though it's... Pan and the devil are clearly not the same. No, but you know, the association is so cleverly killer, constructed. What I really love about the characterization mm, is that none leads, of these characterizations are the obvious choice. Of me. Yeah, like well, it's not darling. what they're like in the midst. True. Because I mean, a lot of times. Poor, has... poor Pan, <laughs> to be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas, <laughs> and alas, and alas. <laughs> and I you know man. why, Pan? <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to We've offer read you the advice, books. Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. But none of these choices are like the obvious first choice of how you'd character uh, characterize these gods, but they fit so well. Like oh, God, soccer yeah. mom Karen Athena is like that's a take, but it, it really works. And oh, I'm she astounded that it does. Something's going on with her. That oh, whole yeah. thing felt fake. Anyway, I like how he's like the choice is yours, and then you have one dialogue option. <laughs> All right, okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? <laughs> Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. The co we did we did manage to make Athena have a pretty sick show too. When I was talking yeah. to Athena and the others, they all started singing. Does that mean... <laughs> That was me. Let me oh, guess. so Apollo could Music stop. swelled as if from nowhere. That's why. Lips he's quivered. Actually got Souls it. were laid bare. Uh, yeah, I guess. 
Yes. Uh, Adam yeah. chat says red's a little quiet. Yep. Uh, okay, I have turned both of you up, that so it should be. Find Calliope's you look awesome. good on Allow my end, like you're hitting the same the process on the waveform as I am, but I've turned you both up. Now then. Hold on, there's some sawing going eyes. outside my front door. I need to make sure they're not, yeah, like, that. cutting up the wrong thing. I got some people it's in to do AC you. this week. Hold on. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot make that stop on my own, because they're just ah. working out there. <laughs> Grace, you know that you're lost now. Yes. yes! You've been given powers you don't understand. <laughs> Suddenly a tree. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. <laughs> this is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? Why not? Try to roll with it! Try oh, to roll with it! Try, try to roll with it. it! We're rolling with it! Just yes and that shit, girl! Yeah! How the hell did you find me? This is the weirdest night I've ever had! Say I have powers? How could this possibly turn out bad? Am I doing it now? Brilliant. I don't follow. Awesome Are those really actual don't horns? Control. And the singing is so hard to swallow. <laughs> I know. Can you hear me, Grace? What's this going on? Lost girls, lost girls, you all love your lost girls. A rescue that you can take home. <laughs> yeah, so Grace, we gotta be careful. Has he slipped something into our drinks? Spouting crap you need help. You need help. You need help. He could be dangerous. What do you think? Freddy, this map is uncharted. Let's hear him out. I know how you feel. Me? Do not trust. Do not trust. Do not trust. <laughs> do not play the you option. feel this. It's kind of Before by mysterious men, I won't let you get hurt again. Lost girls, lost girls, you all love your lost girls. A rescue that you can take home. I sure hate to say this, but your little stray is perfectly fine on her. Okay. What happens now then? How about a solo? <laughs> Backing yourself. You're sure about this? Grace, I love it. What? I am confused. <laughs> Don't make me choose between you. Be him or me. Lost girls, lost girls, the world's full of lost girls who didn't know which road to take. She knows what she's doing, I just know what's at stake. Lost girl, Grace is not a lost girl. Cause I found her in the news is weak. What does that mean, Freddy? Now she irritates me somehow. Don't go. Well, maybe I should. Are you both making me choose? Guys, this is unfair, but we're getting nowhere. Hurry, Grace. We oh boy. I don't uh, trust you. I believe in you. Sorry to break it to you, Pam, but I'm not abandoning my best friend. <laughs> that? That's your choice. Humdrum mortality? 
How about trusting in those who love her instead of those who want to use her? Oh my, such drama. No matter how you employ it, Grace, this is the power of a muse. Drawing out that which lies within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your investigation. Oh, he's not even that mad. This is perfect. That doesn't seem like an option you have. <laughs> I, this, I, it's not an option I have. Oh, because that's the charmer option. That's the charmer yeah. option. Yeah. I think, maybe I sure, think. Sure, so. but I have to admit, I didn't feel completely in control. Of course not. A song goes where a song goes, Grace. It will only go where it wishes. Amuse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. There it is. <laughs> Look, Kubo, Grace already told you to take a hike. So she did. Allow me to get to the point then. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address in the city where Calliope was staying, I do believe. You should... <laughs> <laughs> don't love that. <laughs> yeah. Calliope's address? You should have started with that. And miss all the dancing? <laughs> Nonsense. See, he's fine. He's now fine. This, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. Ah, that's perfect. We can look for clues there. What this Calliope was doing, who her enemies were. I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose, no? Well, sadly, we cannot be punk rock about this. Hmm. Okay. So, do we want to keep Freddy out of the danger? I mean, that would be very dramatic. I feel like we should go with Freddy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, then I'll definitely need backup. You'll be fine. After oh. all, what's a mortal awesome. to says do? You tweeted out that map cannot. of the particular song of yeah, Vertigo, I, if you're I, curious, not the most I complex. I can speak Hindi. Okay, fine, I get it. Oh, uh, I need to find Cassie Yeah. Just oh my gosh. Okay. I, I'm going to pull that up <laughs> not very soon. Um, I guess I'll go check wow. this out Take a look at that, because it is amazing. So glad that's settled. Jeez. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta. Amazing. And with a bit of luck now, we're going to be in the menu screen where we can, uh... Whoops. And the tweet's actually, um... Yeah. Uh, Austin posted a, a whole thread with the, uh... So we we had the Lost Girls option, which was green, but there's also mm -hmm. red and blue, which, honestly, I feel like we should listen to just to show the audience what the, uh what the the variety can look like uh, maybe some other time we should play through this linearly first uh, i mean it's only like a little like 40 second clip of each but uh, fair enough i'm not i'm not in the driver's seat well, yeah, but why would we break I, the immersion i i am going to show the map though but first we'll uh, we're actually going to take a brief ad break because i need to go get more water because my apartment is um way too warm to not have that so, Oops, so additionally this should prevent twitch from randomly throwing ads in the middle of musical numbers which is not oh, fun for good. anybody. So with a bit of luck, uh, we're going to take three minutes of ads, and that should disable them for the next 45 minutes or so to let us get through a bunch of stuff. So yeah, uh, I shall Sweet. leave you all with this charming music uh, and some questing snails, because we have those. And we will uh, be back in just three minutes, so do not go anywhere. Awesome. Woo! The, no, no one, no one can hear you through the ad break. I turned it off.
Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I was deliberately still muted. I was uh, pulling stuff up in the background, but welcome back now. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that very brief ad break. Uh, <laughs> no, you're still muted. Nope. Uh, it is fixed. Mm -hmm. It was on purpose because people were still getting ads. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, As a note, cool, cool. though, all all the subscribers uh, do get ad-free viewing, and so if you want to help support this, uh, do consider dropping a prime sub, regular subs, because all of that helps me be able to keep getting guests on, doing uh, cool projects, playing more fantastic games. So that all is super appreciated. If you're just tuning in, though, we are playing Stray Gods, which is a role-playing musical, uh, which is just the most utterly stacked everything you could um, <laughs> imagine, right? The, it, we just got through the first, like, major song, and so before we hop into it uh, again, I'm actually going to show you all the map of all the different options uh, for this one song, because mm. pff, that's ridiculous. So, uh, boop. Courtesy of Austin Wintry himself. So you start there, you get mm -hmm. different choices, and then it branches. And so you get, like, the choruses. We went for the Lost Girls version, which I believe is the charming one. Yeah, green. Yeah. You can have just straight up totally different choruses in the back half of this song. And this is song one. Yeah, wow. Well. And it's not the most complex. Because, like, you can see, like, the top half of the graph looks like, like, for lack of a better word, how, like, other, like, branching paths games kind of operate, where it's like, you make your choices, the dialogue is different, and then it goes back to the, the line. You make your choices, the dialogue is different, it goes back to the line. But then, when we get to the pre-chorus, it just completely goes splitsies. And yeah. then it goes in a bunch of different directions. And then when we get to the bridge, which is either the solo duet or the trio, it's just all over the place, which is just so complex. Fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, like that's bonkers. Whew. God, it's wild. The, the yeah. colors may need patterns for colorblindness. That's a, that's a fair point. Hopefully, I didn't see any colorblindness uh, options, but they also have symbols associated with them in. They game. do have symbols and yeah. directions so, too. And exactly. directions, yep. So there are solution like the the map itself not super legible uh, for colorblindness, uh, mm -hmm. but in in game itself they've got like yeah. two different layers of alternate coding to yeah. help manage that, which is yeah. awesome. And Austin says RGB are always in the same spot on the menu. That's that's good game design. Yeah, good. Yeah, there good it is. Game design. <laughs> there it is. I'm amazed uh, you held it in for that long. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I mean, had to wait for the right moment. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean, the, the, the Dragon Age pedigree behind this system is very clear and just awe-inspiring. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so with that brief thing. Let's, uh, you know, we got a murder to solve. It's not gonna mm. solve itself, so I think uh, we should go visit Calliope's apartment. Yeah, let's yeah. investigate. Let's do it. We're detectives. We need to solve the murder before Athena gets drunk on Sangria at 11am and sentences us to death five days early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's open. That's not a good sign. Austin, there is no need for forgiveness. It is incredible <laughs> to get this sort of this um, behind the scenes happened. glimpses, and I would I love to talk with you it. about your other games at some other point. Not this. Because, <laughs> um, you know, they're well, all. AC Syndicate oh, sure, is like my personal job. favorite AC Just soundtrack. To the so, you know. That you're here. <laughs> yeah. I, Austin, I don't know if you would remember this, but a very long time ago when AC Syndicate came out, I was part of an Assassin's Creed podcast and we made a video, or a video, a podcast episode about the music in Syndicate. None of us had musical training, so we really didn't know what we were talking about, but we knew it was good. And you very <laughs> kindly left a comment, which really was, was special to me as a little freshman in college, and I appreciated that a lot. Aww. We know you have uh, have many choices for how you spend your launch day, and we appreciate you flying with Ludo History Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, we have to look at so many things. Uh, this is such a nice apartment. This is such a nice apartment. Holy crap. Also... 
freaking like modernist baroque is the aesthetic I'm getting. Yeah. Like just a Warhol painting, just. Oh yeah, check out the. Let's investigate the Warhol painting. Absolutely, we're checking out the Warhol painting. Don't worry, <laughs> I've got Andy standards. Warhol. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Wonder how many celebrities she knew. Fair enough. Who's what's the elegant painting here? Oh. Doesn't look that elegant. Fancy, fancy. That being said, it does look Did like Trans Pride. So. Looks like a oh, piece. true, yes. <laughs> yeah. We take those. I like the little little hearts for the laurel wreath drawn in. That's a very cute way to, to merge those two little yeah, artistic. That was sweet. Uh, Ooh, yeah, I bet if you check out the harp, you can play around on it. Oh, I bet, I bet. Let's try it. Can you play the harp is like the can you pet the dog of stray gods. <laughs> <laughs> of course there's a giant harp. Aww. Boo. Boo. Elvis picture. Elvis picture. We can, however, play the Elvis I picture. It's just an ironic <laughs> photo of Elvis, and she wasn't like his muse, or. But it's signed. It is signed. So... Uh. Off in the corner, you see Calliope's pair of blue suede shoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Let's do the guitar. Let's see if you can play Wonderwall. <laughs> Damn! Look at that. How do you even get one of these? Wolfie asks uh, if Austin has any dev diaries uh, or anything for those more technically inclined. Um, and and I will say that Austin Winter's YouTube channel has a lot of really cool stuff, various behind the scenes um, interviews, a, a podcast um, with, with Troy Baker, um, and a handful of, of videos uh, from more recently. Um, the Pathless talking about the music and that, which was... and. Uh, Austin, stop me if I if I'm if I'm <laughs> explaining this in the wrong way, but the Pathless also has branching music because there are four areas uh, you can do, or no, uh, three areas you can do, and then the fourth. And there is kind of a suggested order, but you can break it. And the way that you wrote the music, mm -hmm. it is different depending on what order you do it in. Which right. is like, I, I, I can see some of like the, well, like, oh, you know, those ideas there. The and then of course, Stray Gods is a much more complex yeah, musical okay, challenge that, that builds off of that. But there's a lot of really cool technical stuff uh, on his channel if you are of the more technically inclined. I'd also imagine that Dev Diaries for this game would probably go up after the game is out. So yeah, probably, probably look forward to those in coming weeks or months. Uh, we should check out the love, instrument and then go upstairs. Yeah, I would yeah. love to see some of like the behind the scenes of like the recording process for this because my gosh. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, also, I appreciate that Grace finally got the question I was thinking of. Can we? Do we? Inherit <laughs> Is this ours now? Yeah. Could we have an original Warhol? <laughs> so many instruments in here. Did she play all of them? Six hours of music. Damn. Holy crap. I read. Uh, and it takes much longer than that to record the music, too. That's um, incredible. I don't see anything useful down I read here. that the uh, the Maybe the music recording upstairs? was basically like budgeted down to the hour of the session, <laughs> and it was some some immense number of recording sessions to get all of this in. <laughs> oh God, I can yeah. imagine. It together, Grace. Do I remember ninety? Was it ninety? <laughs> oh. <Every day. laughs> Hello. There were only three muses, you know. Not nine. Hey. Yeah, see? See? He said the thing! Whenever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they'd pass on their idol on. Take a new name. See, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. Oh my gosh, Apollo is so sad. Uh-huh. So, uh, explanation as to there only being three muses instead of nine. Three one second to bounce no worries it's a it's a fun way to um account for one of many discrepancies in greek mythology uh as as the culture drifted um the earliest references to the muse say that there are three of them and i think when they Blue. name them Blue, you might want to mute yourself uh if there's background noise no sorry people are talking outside i wasn't sure if it was like a longer conversation or if it was just like a, ah. like a quick thing and it seemed like it was a quick thing gotcha okay. 
but yes, I, I like the idea that uh, the reason why some sources say three muses and then later sources say nine is because there were originally three, and then as they passed on their idelia to different kinds of creative types or like dreamers, uh, then it was like, oh, well, there used to be a muse of this, but now there's this muse of astronomy or whatever. So like, that must be a different muse. Now there's nine of them. Um, deep dive on muses when when I finish my research. This is what I got from the first 10% of my research. Yep, the classic. Uh, what are you doing, sitting here in the dark? Being what does sad. it look like I'm doing? <laughs> oh, Troy, Preparing cheer up, buddy. <laughs> I like that Grace is like every single one of these people is a super villain, I'm ready to kill me. <laughs> a dear friend, Aww. if I may ask, how did you find this place? What are you uh, doing? And the implied like like metatextual backstory between Apollo and Calliope with Troy and Ashley between um, <laughs> yeah. fucking yeah. The Last of Us. Like, holy crap. <laughs> that's okay, so, very fun. That's a so very be... strong metatextual relationship building. So we can say, Pan told me about this location. It's not sus. I'm not a murderer, damn it. Or we can be like, you're sus. You're not here to grieve. I'm more inclined to be like, Pan told me about it. But yeah, Pan I mean, told I'm me not about playing, it. Pan told me about it. I was hoping I could find... Something, some clue about what happened. You've already met Pan? How odd. Well, at least he lifted a finger to help me. For his own gain, maybe, but it's better than nothing. I honestly wish I could help you, Grace. Aw. You and Calliope both deserve better. Can you tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a Booty beautiful shot. soul, if troubled. Troubled? Uh, she thought the idols had lost their way. She oh, she for sure got killed by one of the gods. Said, mm -hmm. Yeah, we needed to change. I hadn't spoken. I'm gonna be upset years. if it's Athena, but it would be kind of cool. Yep. I am. Um, I'd rather not talk about it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Who could say no to that voice? I should thank you for, you know, speaking up for me. It... it wasn't right, what they were doing. It still isn't. <laughs> I still need think help. About it. Not disputing <laughs> that. I don't, I don't recommend don't that idea. That I'm the one to help you. Why not? Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I, don't know I what do. Happened to Artemis. You have to know more than me about uh, mm, almost yeah. everything. My help. Will she might be dead, or she could just worse. be off doing her own thing. How That's a very hard thing to do. I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, <laughs> you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. This room is a mess. Did you do this? With this. It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? I didn't think much of it. I came here to be reminded of Calliope, not to search through her <laughs> I like things. they keep using this one shot of him looking no. sadly at the photo. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's cleaner than my place. Oh, oh depression icon Apollo. <laughs> so you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. No, nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. Her projects? When Calliope got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it. Sometimes for months, even years. I don't know what she was... She went on a real bender and came up with dubstep this one time. <laughs> <laughs> her, this is nothing. I love it when, like, artists create art that talks about how being an artist is incredibly messy and chaotic. Because um, yep. it's like, who would know better? <laughs> well, uh, no comment. So let me get this straight. You'll speak up for me, but you won't lift a finger to help. You don't want me to do more. You keep saying that, but it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it does, girl. If you didn't want to help, that'd be one thing. But insisting I don't want you to? <laughs> why not? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Oh, he tall. And sad. <laughs> Also, I can't do this. Aww. 
Don't you want the truth? I don't have other options. That's really fun. But I like that it shows you that you would have other I options. I would have it's other very, options. It's a clever way to suggest that you replay. Yeah. Calliope like, was clearly important. You define a trait for yourself you that, that kind of puts you on a path, and you still have a lot of, of variety in how you can What's approach things with, like within the specific songs, Don't but do I do kind of me. like that you can't just What's go like earth? full chaos mode, swinging back and forth. Yeah. Because otherwise the time. story becomes incoherent. Oh. Let's sing. Also, Apollo oh is Man, fully, force anyone to do fully anything. not affected. Until he Well, he was. Until I like he... that it letterboxes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apollo just like closes the blinds in front of him. <laughs> and he got, just got more dramatic than Feed him thoughts. Thoughts that never end. What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is, only in your head. Long gone fights, but they're never dead. What did I do? What did you do? <laughs> yeah, what did you do, bro? Being very vague. What did you do? What did you Shook and my instinct was protect. She said, Come, there's waves to ride. I stayed shut inside, and that's where she and I would disconnect. Cause and effect. Yeah, I like that one. You can't keep doing nothing. She never Good. Jesus, yes. I love it. <laughs> I'll help. Though I'm uncertain what you expect me to do. Athena called you the god of prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. I like that he's sad, but he's still crazy ripped. True. Yeah. 
I've just been staying It'll inside be doing ab crunches all why. day. Exactly. This is all new to me, remember? Yes, of course, that's true. It's so easy to forget that. To receive a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. To know a prophecy is to be bound to its outcome. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. Interesting way to deal with the free will thing. Yeah, I, I like that take, though. You're talking about fate. You're talking about fate. Let's You're be smart. You're talking about fate, aren't you? <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> fate. <laughs> fate. I can't say I've ever believed in fate. Well, you probably didn't believe in magic either, but here we are. That's a good point. My power is to pick at the strands of fate and make a single path clear. But in doing so, all other paths vanish. Worse, prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. Certified Croesus moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke for uh, Red and Adam and like three of you in the audience. <laughs> uh-huh. Can you help another way, maybe? Can we help another way? Also, how the, fu how, how the hell is that a power? That's terrible. No, that's <laughs> magical. It's, I don't know. It, it kind of, I mean, they both suck. Both okay, is there anything you can do that isn't prophecy related? Uh, not directly, but. Can great cheese on these abs, but possible. other than that. <laughs> Come with me. It's like, it's how are you like so you ripped? Make. Every time I get sad, I do one push-up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope we're gonna... Oh, are we gonna meet Poseidon? I don't know who we're gonna meet. This also, Space Nerd, that's oh, not I, at all I think this is his house. house. Yeah, because he's the surfer. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, sometimes. And, and excuse the mess. I, I don't get many visitors. No, kid, no, kid. <laughs> this really explains why you didn't notice anything at Calliope's apartment. So oh. funny. <laughs> Don't hold back on my account, Grace. Oh, he's oh, such a sad sack. I someone? Ah, yes. Um, Give me a sec. I'm going to make sure Cleo hasn't run those? outside while oh, the builders okay. are going in and out. Sound back good. it. Oh, oh. Do we we actually... have a smart girl option. <laughs> smart girl option. Actually, just be the Oracle at Delphi, you know. Yeah. Which makes sense. You mean like the Oracle of Delphi? People went to ask your questions, I think, or was that just another story? Oh, you know about that. Okay. <laughs> Aw. Well, that'll make this easier. Phew. There have been many oracles over the ages. They serve as a sort of conduit for my powers. This allows them to offer insight, knowledge they have no earthly means to possess. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Meaning there's an oracle here. There is. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? <laughs> I brought someone to see you. <laughs> this person is so sick of dealing with Apollo. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. Is that what Paul told you? Oracle's Paul? my handle. And even if I was the oracle, I'm certainly not his oracle. That is so funny. Oh, it's Kimberly Brooks. <laughs> Been a really good few years for her. Fantastic. I uh, 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 <laughs> hmm. How about, are you sure? <laughs> I, um, we're insufficiently charming to have social good graces. You know hmm. what Apollo is, right? Oh, I know what Paul says he is. Just because someone says they can fly does not make them the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. I use computers. I'm a hacker. Look, That's it. Uh, it's clear <laughs> Grace's Google phone is non-existent. Very little. So, uh... Your help here would be appreciated. Fine. Look at your ass in a twist. <laughs> I have so many questions about how okay. this little goblin. So Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. What's on your mind, sis? I'm so confused, but I'm here for it. This is this is Apollo's oracle. The oracle denies that they are his oracle. They're just like, I'm just a hacker and good with computers. Paul's just some weirdo who I live with. 
<laughs> Myst mystical abilities of using Google. You keep saying Paul. Do you mean Apollo? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Apollo, if that is his real name, says he's a god of prophecy, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but you don't this? believe him. <laughs> Kimberly Brooks. Believe him? Okay. Uh, who'd believe that? <laughs> it's super weird, but he's a decent guy, so he can be Apollo if he wants, but I just can't call him that. Apollo's personality makes more sense when you realize he's been relentlessly bullied by a 12-year-old. <laughs> uh, you... Either of those work. I think we're going to get a chance to We're going to get all of them, I think, I yeah. crash here, yeah. Better here than home. She showed up one day, as the oracles do. Naturally, she is welcome to stay as long as she likes. Aw, Apollo's a decent guy. See the way he talks? I thought maybe he was a creep of verse, but nah. Paul's I right. <laughs> He's such praise. a sad sack! <laughs> He'd be more alright if he did some laundry. Again, none of the characterizations are the first choice obvious answer, but they're so good. Exactly, right? I, I can clearly... Having gotten this, can clearly see like this as a take on like an inverted Cassandra, mm -hmm. right? Where Cassandra believes in it and no one else believes in her. Oracle here just fully has the ability. People will believe her uh, when they use it, but fully doesn't believe it. You know, this is weird because this is a very niche fan theory trope I've seen pop up in a lot of fandoms of like, this character who's ridiculously good with computers actually has a superpower that allows them to be really good with computers, but they don't know it, they just think they're really good at it. Uh -huh. um, like, a, it's, it's like a popular, like, leverage if you're giving everyone a superpower, it's a popular headcanon people do there, or like um... Like I've seen Link's people... champion ability is the flurry rush. Right, or like <laughs> Seto Kaiba thinks he's just a good programmer, but actually he's using ancient Egyptian magic, because otherwise none of that shit makes sense. Like that kind sure. of thing. It's a it's a pretty popular thing I've seen in fandom spaces, but I've never seen it actually be in a real story before. Amazing. Also, Master, I don't need to do laundry. I barely wear anything over my abs. <laughs> True. The less you wear, the less you have to clean. Facts. He, he wants... Uh, I assume he washes this shirt when he goes surfing and assumes the salt spray will do the job. <laughs> so you're an oracle who uses the internet, huh? Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah. It's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even At O-R-4-C-L-3. Parts <laughs> oh. purchased for her, presumably. Bargain for fair and square. Opposed and I keep buying her to get me an ethernet cable. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny! This is <laughs> <laughs> the 21st century, Paul. And the 21st century Oracle needs her some download speed, okay? God. This is such a breath of fresh air after all the murder shit. <laughs> Tell me, is Apollo always so... Incredibly emo? <laughs> like yes, a yes. stuffed with sad? I am standing right here. Don't get me wrong. It grows on you after all. Oracle's like, I know, I don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. Don't delude yourself. <laughs> this is fun. This is. Mm, I think either you're, this is fun or you're right. But that heart makes me worry that you're r romancing Apollo, and that never goes well. <laughs> that's that's fair. Um, I think we gotta keep this one stricto platonic. That, that's yeah, true. We, right. knew, we knew too much Greek mythology to trust um, yeah. Apollo and romance within a hundred kilometers of each other. Uh, I guess you're right. I just can't resist. It's fine. I just don't need to be put under the microscope in my own abode. <laughs> my own abode. <laughs> yes, he cracks me up. Uh... Out of this game. <laughs> well, the, also the fact that or Oracle and you are just like the have had the exact same reaction to everything red is just fantastic. I'm looking for I information feel very about someone seen in and not in a good way necessarily. <laughs> oh, the lady Put under the microscope in your own uh, yeah. live stream ecosystem. Hey, hey! What did I tell you? I looked it up. You could do the same if you learned to use a computer. Here, hold up. I'll show you. 
I choose to believe this Apollo cannot read English. There. He can only read Greek. The apartment was originally purchased two years ago by a holding company, Core with a K Enterprises. Okay, so we're seven. Yep. Oh, I see. That would be. Yeah, we know what's Persephone. up. Yep. Is that a surprise? That does, yeah. Well, we is that knew it. <laughs> well, I think it's like, wait, Calliope was living in. knew it. <laughs> so Calliope was living in an apartment owned by Persephone. That is a surprise. That, fair. That is a surprise. Uh, the Cory is Persephone, yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, also, yeah, that's bad news bears for um, us. <laughs> Well, because that means we have to confront Persephone, who dislikes us for reasons that are suspicious, but guaranteed to be something chill and sympathetic, and then we can probably romance her if we want. I'm just saying! <laughs> someday they'll invent a video game Persephone that I don't have a thing for, but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and it was not today. <laughs> We're two for two at this point, and one of them was fucking Assassin's Creed! I thought I had standards! Yeah, that was embarrassing for you. I'm sorry, Red. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault they made her tall. <laughs> You weren't expecting that? I wasn't aware Persephone and Calliope were friendly. Certainly not friendly enough for Persephone to give Calliope an apartment. The good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. I'm thinking she won't be happy to see me. I hope his means of transport is something really embarrassing. Persephone is <laughs> like a little rare. motor scooter. <laughs> Vespa. Mm. Oh, I, can, Vespa. <laughs> I can take you there. You can ride the sidecar. Thank car. you for your help, Oracle. Please, do try to get out from behind your screens at least once today. <laughs> Wait. go for a walk. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, sure, will do. Leave a tip on your way out. I love this so much. <laughs> Oh, also red. I think it was um, it was Hecate, uh, from AC Odyssey. Oh, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Persephone Sorry. says um, uh, says <laughs> uh, Peter. Yes, you are correct. My apologies. Did we get a Persephone in that game? We did. Hold on, let me. I'm looking her up. In the meantime, let's catch up on our journal. According to the Oracle, Persephone owns the apartment Calliope was living in. So... Oh, yeah, this is not an interesting design. This one, however. <laughs> but but this, this design, however, uh, rules. Sorry, they had yep. similar vibes. I don't yep. know how to explain it's, it. No, I, 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 I hear you. Spooky underworld magic goddesses. What can I, I say? I hear you. <laughs> I, I guess she's next on my list of idols to talk to, though. I have a feeling she's not <clears> going to be very happy to see me. Also, Pad. I'm back the morning after going through the ringer, having just discovered on <laughs> some kind of ancient muse, and guess who shows up at my apartment uninvited, poking around the kitchen like he's considering an investment. Uh, this idol's name is Pan, and I don't know what his deal is. He's a bit too smooth, seems to know a bit too much that he isn't saying, and just happened to know where to point me. Which we offered for a price, of course. This one's shady, folks. I can <laughs> just guess what kind of favor he's going to want. Fantastic. Uh, Apollo. Oh. I went to- Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, no, I'm just looking. Uh, ah. Yeah. Went to Calliope's apartment, and who should I find there? Apollo, sitting in the dark, in a room that had obviously been turned inside out by somebody searching for something. He says he didn't do it, and that he was there more than Calliope. They were close for a long time, it seems, but a rift began between them a couple of years ago that never quite healed. Was it the kind of rift that might lead to her murder? Uh, for one, he keeps saying that helping me will do more harm than good. What does that even mean? According to him, his prophecies lock you into your fate as soon as you hear them, which could be good or bad, I guess. Apparently, but not always 100% clear, so maybe he's right. Maybe it's better not to know. Uh, thankfully, okay, Apollo did have another way to help me. <laughs> namely, through a teenage computer whiz who lives in his dump of a home, the Oracle. <laughs> or just Oracle, as she insists that's just her handle. So We've got to stop bullying this man. <laughs> but it's so easy. <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> and frankly, Apollo, uh, you know, the last, what, 3,000 years, give or take, I think Apollo deserves a little bit of bullying. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> like, has he had 3,000 years of it coming to him? Probably not, but like, did he have it coming to him 3,000 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope we also get a chance to bully Pan, because Pan also deserves to get bullied. Pan 
is a little... Yeah, there is just less stuff about him. So exactly. there's only a couple stories and he's not... He, there's. It's kind of hard to find consistency throughout it because there's just not much to work with. Um, the, the, that being said, uh, you know, if we can bully Apollo for chasing nymphs, we have to bully Pan for chasing nymphs. So, yeah. uh, you know, Syrinx did yeah. get turned into a bunch of reeds for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Any other additions? Uh, Freddy. Freddy was at the apartment when Pan arrived, so I had to tell her everything. Part of me feels bad for getting her involved, but I have to admit, none of this felt quite real until I did. If anyone can figure this out, she can. Greek mythology has been her thing since seventh grade, and I'm oh, glad yeah, she was there to back me up during a song with Pan. <laughs> She's like, I've trained my whole life for this. <laughs> those are rookie numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. When we put our heads together, we can handle anything. These Aww. characters are are just so goddamn good. I love all of them. Look, uh, my my first mythology book was when I was in second grade, so, you know. Dang. My I think we did a unit on it in third and fourth grade, but I'm pretty sure we already had some of that stuff at home. Knowing your family, you 100% had some oh, of it at home. 100%, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The question I, is just wait, that you that didn't, mean I, that didn't mean I'd read the Iliad when I got the Dolores Book of Greek Myths in class. <laughs> That's true. Uh, for me, it was... It might have been actually the same one. Uh, and then mm. one of the like early 20th century Norse mythology collections. Of course, yeah. But because I had some, that's like, that my rest mm -hmm. of my life. <laughs> yeah, I think I had like some assorted myth books, none of the famous ones, like not the Edith Hamilton or anything, and then some like Iliad and Odyssey abridged for babies. Um, <laughs> because I was like, why did it end? They didn't even get rid of Troy. And my mom was like, oh, honey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that doesn't happen in this book. I'm like, does it happen in the Odyssey? Also, no. <laughs> uh, does that happen in the Aeneid? Only a flashback. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Underworld. Let's go to, let's go to the Underworld, because I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Let's go to the Yay! Underworld. Yeah! I'm having so oh, much fun. I hope everyone is having fun. It's a nightclub. <laughs> this is amazing. Now I really want this neon, like, laurel wreath Welcome thing. Welcome to the Underworld. Wow. True. How have I never heard of this place? <laughs> Persephone keeps <laughs> like, it This is exactly my shit. Also, well, there's Pat just hanging out. Oh, who are you? Right, don't ask me how. Ooh. Here in the underworld, idols can be themselves. Her me. Hard read, Minotaur. Ooh. Uh, not your kind of place? Do you come here often? Oh, no. No, no. Uh, Persephone and I aren't friends. Is she friends with anyone? Not many, no. Except Calliope, apparently. I want to know where <laughs> Hades is. Where to find Persephone and all this? I think he we'll did. Yeah. Have you considered what you'll say to her? No. I'll fight her if I have to. <laughs> we're, we're not very punk rock, though, so... We're we don't have going. a smart really. option? <laughs> what do you suggest? Well, if I know Persephone, and I do, she won't be up for a chat. You need to be prepared to use your powers, as you did with me. Come find me in the crown if you need anything. Otherwise... Be careful, Grace. We should not fight Persephone about not end. Well, yeah. I mean, it would, but it would be pretty. Fun. Oh, that's who that is. Part Eros. Me. Eros. Oh, we gotta. Okay. Yeah. We yeah, gotta. Let's. We gotta. Oh, yeah, with, with a get-up like that, Eros makes more sense. <laughs> oh, hey. You're the new muse, aren't you? Um, um, I guess I am, yeah. I'm wondering yeah. who that voice actor is. Aphrodite mentioned it. Didn't figure I'd see you here, though. Oh. oh. Excuse the manners. Name's Eros. God of sex. There's... This is the voice of Bayek from Assassin's Creed Origins, if he sounds familiar. Oh, shit. oh hell yeah. <laughs> There's... Wait, did you did you say that you you're the god of sex? <laughs> Desire, really. Sensuality, attraction. With that haircut? Why? Were you expecting a chubby little flying baby with a bow and arrow? Uh, I, I wasn't. I actually preferred Cupid, but 
I'd have to be the trickster. Spread all those stupid stories. Yeah, Abu Bakr Salim. I'm oh man, sorry. what a pull! God, that's so good! <laughs> it's not your fault. Just another grudge I get to carry around forever. Why are all these oh gods God, so like sad? Bucks. They're all sad! <laughs> <laughs> The god of sex at a club. <laughs> Looking for someone? I like how she's not like, what are you doing here? It's just like the actual sensible thing. Now I'm just here to see it happen. See what happen? Look out there. See all these people. The hope, the anticipation, the connections, they bounce off each other. <laughs> to me, it's like lightning. Well. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> sound creepy. I used to make it happen, you know. Mortals once begged me to make it happen, to inspire true love. But now, now I only inspire sex. Not the same thing. It's just as well. People should find true love the hard way, or value it more. No trauma there, no. Nope. What is with all these sad god boys? <laughs> 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 you know Aphrodite, right? I only met her the once. Sure, she's my mother. You know how it is. How would I know? No here, remember? Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't thinking. So something happened to say you almost certainly. What a poll. Like <laughs> mother, <laughs> what an brother, inspired sister, choice. Grandfather. None of us are actually related. We're just Played a family for so many centuries. Might as well be true. That there's layers there. Yeah. Oh boy. So Aphrodite is your mother, but not really. Vin Diesel breaks That's through right. the wall. What do you say about <laughs> a long time ago? She took care of me when I needed taken care of. The mortals, they just assumed. These days, well, it's not like that anymore. We're not as invulnerable as we used to be. Least of all Aphrodite. <laughs> you seem really sad. Is everything okay? <laughs> of course it is. Sure. <laughs> yep. He said sadly. Oh, this, huh? oh God. <laughs> I don't come here that often. No, it's hard to get away. I just. Want... Nope. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> nope. Yep. Rep repress that one back down where yep. it belongs. I. Yep. Bad, bad day? Bad, bad millennia? <laughs> bad. Oh, this I think game. Any of, these, any of these are good options, but bad Even day idols feels like bad most. days, huh? Bad weeks, bad months, yep. bad centuries. Do you need to think <laughs> about it? Talking to. You're the one with your life on the line. I. <laughs> well, we're out of here. I'm looking for Persephone, but I can't find her anywhere. Well, I know where she is, but I question whether she'd be happy to see you. Oh, she won't be. Don't worry. I like you. But Mother told me. Please let us sing her. a song with arrows. I don't want to trouble with this. <laughs> Austin, <laughs> please. <laughs> there won't be a problem. Smart, smart, smart. smart. What if smart. I could guarantee that there wouldn't be a problem? Uh huh. How could you guarantee that? We're working on that. First, I'd reassure you that I'm here to work things out with Persephone. I don't want to fight. Oh, good. Don't you worry about Eros. Oh. That didn't pan out. Comes in clutch. I'm so excited. <laughs> Making me the idiot who fell for it. Oh, I don't know. I can be Trixie. I'm no, so you can't. excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> when you're ready to see her, you let me know, and I'll take you. Deal? Deal. All the right. Absolute highest compliments to the casting <laughs> department the cast <laughs> and the team that like came up with the concepts for these characters because oh, like they all rule <laughs> holy shit this all just works let's so check well in with hermes. check in with hermes let's check in with hermes erica how are you doing <laughs> does he do i have a fucking here. reputy model i mean you gotta be somewhere but you're here hello hermes <laughs> sorry about running off on you back at the thing didn't really have a choice but Ah, sorry, anyway. <laughs> oh, a fucking review just, bottle. Just, I, I hope you know that it's the biggest compliment <laughs> you could have possibly given us. That oh. is so sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're not That's much really like cool. the other idols, are you? 
No. I, I haven't been in idle very long. Maybe like <gasps> more, maybe more, more. Track. So I'm not the one to ask about the idle stuff. It's all cool, but mostly I do. Is that there to Ishii? Yes, it is. Yes, uh, they are says one day I'll sit on the chorus. <laughs> That'll be sick. <laughs> Can you imagine me in charge? <laughs> the expressions on this guy. What? No is thoughts, this? head empty. <laughs> is it, it? Why not? Why not? Maybe you can shake some dust off the other idols. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a lot. Sure, of let's dust. just usurp the Olympians. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> I don't think Athena would let me clean anything anyway. She won't even let me touch her spear. Uh. I think you You've like... only been an idol for a year. Please, give happen? us the lore. Mm, probably the same way it did with you. Oh, the old Hermes died in your arms and then they accused you of his murder? <laughs> no. Well, yes. I mean, no, not like that. No, I killed but him yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was there when he died. We were friends and I was having trouble at home and he helped me out. I miss him. <laughs> they are so no thoughts head empty. <laughs> <laughs> Clocked the old Hermes right across the cranium with my messenger bag. <laughs> Took their soul. <laughs> Hit him with my bike accidentally. <laughs> Why do you call yourself Hermes? I mean, I don't call myself Calliope. You might eventually. Uh, I Shit. doubt it. <laughs> Most idols do. Not everyone, though, so I don't know, maybe not you. <laughs> the Hermes Claws? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> when Calliope died, you were right there. Within moments. How did you know? I told you. I got word, so I came. But how did you get word? Look, when an idol dies, I have to be there. So I just know. It's a Hermes thing. Checks out. God, everyone is bringing their fucking A-game to this <laughs> performance. <laughs> Did you take the body? Did you clean my apartment up? It was Did a little corpsey when I left. Clean up the blood, that sort of thing? Oh, that too, yeah. But that's on Athena's orders. That oh, cool, they did the cleanup. Secret. Sure. Can you imagine the questions? I don't know how we hide so well as it is. This is probably a stupid question, but do you know who might have killed Calliope? But I don't even know what day of the week it is. I don't know anything about that. When you came to to the apartment, it seemed like you knew her. Oh no, I only met her once. She didn't live with the rest of the idols or hang out with us very much. She seemed nice though. Angry, maybe. But I don't know who'd want to hurt her. Angry? How was she angry? Pissed off. But more because she cared about everyone too mm. much not to be. I don't know, that's what I thought anyhow. I'm probably wrong. Is Calliope Laura Bailey? Our main character, Grace, is Laura Bailey, which technically makes Calliope Laura Bailey. Calliope pre-murder was Ashley Johnson. Yep. Yeah. You beat me by that much. Type this <laughs> down. We'll see you around. No thoughts yeah, persona sure. to hide. A murderer, yeah. says Cyan. Oh <laughs> uh huh. Do we want to check in with Pan and see how? Uh, yeah, let's check in with our boy Pan. Well, hello. We made progress, Pan. Aren't you proud of us? As I live and breathe, <laughs> if it isn't our dear Muse. God, the voice is so Pan. good. So good. tell me. Have you decided to leave your troubles behind and join us in the land of shadows and revelry? No. Is Artemis there? <laughs> yeah, one tradition. <laughs> I should thank you for the address. It's what led me here. No need to thank me. You'll owe me, remember. <clears throat> How you managed to stir the sun god from his oh-so-tiresome gloom, I cannot imagine. Nicely done. Grace is like, let me spend the rest of the week with Artemis and you can rip my skull off of my spine <laughs> at the end of it for all I care. <laughs> I, like I like him. It took some convincing, but at least he's helping Whew. me without asking anything in return. Truly, how is that Carrie Payton? Yes, it is. Such naivety. Yeah. <laughs> do you know something I don't? Yes. A lot of things, probably. Uh, I'm sorry. Was that a question? <laughs> <laughs> He's such a little shit. What? I'm guessing it's a total coincidence that I'm running into you here. It must be. 
The alternative would be that I knew a great many things ahead of time. Well, did you? Yes. Do I look like an oracle? I am here to listen to thrilling music and meet delicious people. My tastes are simple. Uh-huh. Speaking of simple tastes, my glass is empty again. The service here is appalling. Yeah. I assume you're a regular at this club? And why would you assume that? Oh, he sucks so bad. <laughs> this is great. I love him. The, the you. you. Do you know Persephone well? There is no knowing Persephone well. She won't have it. Not anymore. Oh. Not anymore? Do I smell a tragic Long backstory? Ago, we were all yep. Very different. Over the span of ages, however, <laughs> even mountains grow. An evil persona to hide a murderer. I feel like I'm not a very good persona. I'm just, I'm just saying. There are... The things you say, I love the things that, you don't like, say. You say. Like every single person is like something to hide a murderer. You know that? No, that's to hide a murderer. And the penniless. Still not helping. Why, Grace? Are you assuming that I, Pan, am some sort of scoundrel? Yes. <laughs> oh, we found the romance option. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> S S Saya, this one's for you. Either that or a murderer. Yes. <laughs> a murderer. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize you saw The 1000 so. IQ play. I think it's funny. Jacques. It's funny, Grace. It's part of my charm. At least he's not openly sad like everyone else. I should get going. I'm sure I'll see you soon. One can only hope. <laughs> Can we get another read on that? We need it to be even slightly sexier. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's check in Should with Apollo. Check in with... Yeah, see, why not? see how our sad boy in the corner is doing. <laughs> this game is going up. to awaken a startling amount of people. <laughs> this is like, it's like, oh, this game and the Hades game are shaking hands with each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I, I love that he was like, find me in the crowd, and immediately gravitates just, into a corner. Like, he's just off being sad at a table with no chairs. <laughs> I thought this would be easier, but it's as if Persephone left instructions to thwart me. Every staff member I approach screams and runs off. <laughs> if you put on a shirt, it'll help. I hope your search has been more successful. <laughs> they scream, oh no, he's hot! <laughs> Be very funny if Apollo just wasn't aware of that. You don't come. Just here like none often. of them look me in the I'm eyes. Listening. It's really Never. disconcerting. I'm sure Persephone only said the membership as a formality. I doubt she thought I'd ever use it. Don't you ever have fun? <laughs> no drinking or dancing. Or <laughs> God, this <Once>. game. <laughs> when I had the muses to keep me company. <laughs> Well, I am one of the muses. No, we gotta save ourselves for, I don't know, other characters. Freddy? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, like Freddy. I didn't mean to remind you. All right, I'm okay. It might help if I knew more about Persephone. Uh, it couldn't hurt. What would you like to know exactly? Uh, uh, what's smart? What's, yeah, smart, smart, yeah, smart. smart. The Greek mythology smart. is a little rusty, but isn't Persephone the one who was kidnapped? Oh, you know about that. It's there's literally every Greek Just mythology. I like Persephone every was time we say a smart thing around Apollo, he's like, Hades, oh, you know about Lord that. of the Underworld, swept her off to the land of the dead. Hmm. Without so much as a by your leave, yes. Mm -hmm. Her mother, Demeter, was so enraged, she blanketed the world in ice, rendering it barren and infertile. Zeus was forced to act. He decreed that Persephone would be shared between Demeter and Hades, and thus right. the matter was resolved. Three of the four characters here are notably not present. Well, you asked. That's her story, as the mortals tell Fred, do you feel threatened by Troy Baker uh, rattling <laughs> off mythology facts? <laughs> so tell me, how much of Persephone's legend is true? Well, let's see. Um, Hades did kidnap Persephone. That certainly did happen. The idols almost went to war over it until Zeus intervened and ordered Hades and Ooh. Persephone to wed. That uh, quieted things. Wow! Oh. At least until Persephone killed Hades. Oh, oh shit! Spicy! What? what? 
Okay. Does this sort of thing happen a lot? That's oh really God. funny. <laughs> I think we gotta go with uh, either that or the she killed him. I think no, no. this sort of thing happened a lot. This sort of thing happened a lot. But but first, I I do want to shout out right from my understanding of the like older sources for the story, which is the prayer to Ganymede, I think. Uh, like the, the forcing, the forcing, and it fully being Zeus's fault. Uh, the Homeric Hymn to Demeter is the one the that has Demeter, the, that's what I'm thinking, it, yeah. it has the only mostly complete version of the story of the kidnapping rather than just oblique references to how Persephone was taken to the underworld. And it is also damaged and missing several lines in the middle, so we don't actually know the exact mechanism by which Persephone came to have to stay in the underworld. There's like, in the lines we have, it's like, and because of the pomegranate or something, and people inferred like, oh, she ate a certain number of seeds and she stays that number of months, but it's not anywhere in the original thing. And it's yeah. the only version of the myth. Everything else when people are like, you know, Oh, in the original version, it's this. It's like, no, it's not. No. I read the original version. <laughs> but, I'm sorry. But yeah. so the, the, the hymn, the hymn still does pretty ma much make it clear that Zeus is um, extremely Zeus is involved and an asshole. Yeah, uh, Hades abducting Persephone is the inciting incident. Uh, everything after that is Zeus mismanaging the situation. Yeah. So, uh, also, you know, shout outs to real... Zeus continuing to mismanage the yeah. situation. Real quick, before <laughs> we so, before we move so on to, oh, okay, I'll, I'll tell it after. And that was okay. Does this stuff happen a lot with the idols? Not since the days of the Titans. Wow. Which I barely remember. It was the first time one idol had killed another. I'd like to say we handled it well, but Zeus and the idols were mindful of what Persephone had been through, but that would be a lie. Persephone was punished for the murder, the underworld taken from her, and Oof. we all stood by and let it happen. She has never forgiven us. And honestly, I can't blame her. I do, real quick. Yes. Um, in Greek art, uh, in vase painting, uh, whenever mm -hmm. the uh, abduction of Persephone is depicted, there are stock poses that you do when you're working with small figures with limited detail to convey what's going on. So it's like if someone has their heels up, they're dancing. Um, mm -hmm. There are different poses for like if someone's grieving. On the depictions of the abduction of Persephone, it's always Hades has a hand on her wrist, which is the same gesture for um, the uh, grape uh, as well as mm. marriage and there is really no distinction artistically between whether it's like a kidnapping or if it's like a consensual marriage so it's interesting that that ambiguity kind of seeps into the artistry about it as well yeah yeah oh, it's boy. um it's a weird spot i think the only reason it's such a spicy spot is that people pick one version and they're like, this is the version. And then they start trying to murder people who think that the other versions are the version. Yeah. Um, but again, it's like the the Tumblr canon is like, and they lived happily ever after the pastel goth power couple. Mm. But like this game chooses a, a strong different choice, which works so well in the context of this world. I love the commitment. Yeah, yeah. I like, like, you know, there are a ton of Hades and Persephone stories that try and lean into like, the romance, I, when I did the video about it, I kind of tried to lean into the, like, this is the origin story, but how was Persephone actually worshipped? How much power did she have in the Pantheon? How much of this was, like, retcons and stuff? Uh, and let's acknowledge, like, Hades, the only god who's married, who's not terrible to his wife after they get married, like, that kind of thing. Um, but I kind of like that this game was like, how about we just fucking stop pulling our punches and talk about what this was? Yeah, I super appreciate that. Uh, also, if I were her, I'd be mad at you all, too. Then you understand why things are difficult between us. Anyway, uh, wow. I'm curious about the murdered and idol thing because that yeah. feels complicated. That yeah. feels complicated. Wait, Let's do lore. Persephone <laughs> killed another idol. Oh, long time ago, yeah. What about all of Athena's rules? Wouldn't Persephone have been, I don't know. Executed? The murder of Hades is probably why we now have that rule. Back then, <laughs> trope namer. <laughs> we heard Persephone had usurped Hades' throne, but we couldn't believe it. It just wasn't done. Oof. Now, of course, I look back and think we should have seen it coming. Oh, the benefit of hindsight. Why didn't you see it coming? You're the god of prophecy. Come on, we've already been over this part. Look, I learned long ago not to. What did Persephone do next? So what happened mm -hmm. to Persephone after... The murder? She survived, like the rest of us. She got older, and when we came to the new world, 
I think she would have left us if it was allowed. Do you want to elaborate on that one? It isn't. So instead, she did as she pleased. She started a cult, became a crime boss. You, you want to... A what? Uh, Soleil. Last transition. <laughs> Honestly, I have no insight into anything Persephone does these days. I support women's rights and women's wrongs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was just mad at me, but everyone seems afraid of Persephone. Uh, noticed that, did you? Persephone is angry with everyone and has been for a very long time. I've told you why. But it's more than that. She Afraid to add the trackage. A thousand years could pass, and Persephone will remember what you did like it was yesterday. Europeans are like that, I've gathered. They'll talk about <laughs> shit that happened a thousand years ago like it was last month, and they were there. My mom is the same <laughs> way for some reason. <laughs> So, so is this like an American Gods where are still different idols back in the old country? No. Doesn't seem like it. I think it's more like the quote-unquote transition is when the idol goes from one body to another. Yeah. Um, like exactly. what Hermes said happened to them, yeah. Exactly. It looks like it's semi-immortal Eidolons that transport between um, semi-mortal bodies. Yeah. Anyway, Not clear if they're supposed to I get those memories. I found someone who will bring but... me to Persephone. Finally. I'll be right behind you. No, you won't. You're coming with me? But I thought... She seems even angrier with you than she is with me. I... I might be... On that face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see, I guess. Joyous. Uh, all right. Before we talk to Persephone, though, I desperately need to use the restroom, so I think it's time for another ad break. Yay. Right. Yay. This is going to be probably our last one for the stream here, because we've been going for two okay. hours, so uh, yep. we'll finish up in the next hour or so have at least one more big song number uh but mm -hmm. we'll leave you with these uh bumping club tunes on the way i really love just the bumping tunes in the middle of everyone being so sad <laughs> it's <laughs> fantastic uh so yeah just a quick reminder of what's happening uh there's two purposes for this firstly let's us get up stretch get more water uh second it will hopefully prevent ads during the big musical numbers which is uh good for all of you that being said, uh, subscribers do get ad-free viewing, so if you want to help support the channel, do make sure you hit that subscribe button because uh, all subscriptions, cheered bits, etc. Uh, help keep my project going, keeps uh, me getting more guests like Red and Blue uh, mm -hmm. on, and uh, yeah, get playing more good historical games. So, uh, we'll be back in just three minutes, so do not go anywhere, uh, and we will leave you with some snails. And otherwise, just return soon, okay?
All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, welcome to Little History, and welcome back to more Stray Gods. If you're just tuning in, because I do see uh, there are people who are still tuning in, um, welcome. I'm Adam. Uh, I run this live stream, uh, which focuses entirely on historical games and uh, games that talk about mythology, folklore, other history adjacent stuff. Uh, I'm a professional public historian, and so we just hang out and have a chill time. Uh, we are playing Stray Gods, the role-playing musical, which absolutely slaps. Uh, this is a mm. phenomenal game. And Incredible. To help join me, uh, we've got Red and Blue from Overly Sarcastic Productions hanging out so up. with us. Uh, if you just tuned in, um, we are one of the muses uh, after the previous mu muse got murdered. Uh, and now we have to go talk to Persephone to figure out what's up with all that, because Calliope was renting an apartment from Persephone. And that feels spicy. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. If you are enjoying this, of course, make sure you follow, because I do a huge variety of games with a huge variety of guests. Uh, we've been doing this as free Black Flag recently, um, and we just finished up Blasphemous. We're about to do Blasphemous 2 when that comes out. So, you know, hit that <laughs> follow button, and if you want to help support the channel more, consider subscribing or heading over to patreon.com slash history. Uh, and obviously we're going to be playing a lot more of this, because there's only a few thousand options. You can also <laughs> type exclamation mark Patreon there for all things. Will we be playing it further with OSP in the future? Oh, I sure hope so. Hope so. Uh, Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Schedules allowing. Uh, we're certainly going to try. All right. Without further ado, let's get back into it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go That's talk how to... I talk all the time. Shut up. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's go talk to Persephone because um, nothing bad will happen if we do this. Let... Oh, there she is. Oh, oh no. Hey, er Eros. Our teeth and tiptoe forward. <laughs> Eros. Let's, let's help. Yep. Well, found her. Oh. Oh. If you're angry with anyone, Persephone, be angry <laughs> with me. It was I who... I will deal with you later. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, I was God, to so beat. tall! A <laughs> jangle. <laughs> certain. Yet here you are, in my domain, uninvited. Why? Are you here to beg for mercy? Are you here to challenge me? Should I be afraid? No. no. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that, that, that face. <laughs> danger, danger, danger. <laughs> oh no, she's hot. <laughs> I'm not uh, trying to want... start a fight. Yeah, Far from it. I came here hoping you could help me. Help you? <laughs> Perhaps you could help me instead. I'd like to understand a few things. Do you really expect us to believe that Calliope chose Not willingly. You? What's the real story? Did you stumble across her as she lay dying and desperate? Are you an accident? Did you learn what she was? Did you torture her, hold her at the point of death until she agreed to hand over her Eidolon? Persephone, this isn't- You have every reason to try to prove your innocence, Grace, but I have no reason to help you. Paralinguist is having such a strong step on me reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Calliope lived at your apartment, girl. You knew Calliope. We all knew Calliope. She was staying at your apartment. You knew her. Better than I or anyone else suspected. Are you implying that I had something to do with her death? Prove well, you didn't. That's how idols work, isn't it? <sighs> no, don't. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're, why are we fighting... This is gonna end badly. No, this is going great. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> yup. Well, we're gonna have a song on. <laughs> you hear that? You're in my house, little muse. You want answers? Fight for them. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Grace, I'm not here to fight. Also, Grace. Immediately throws hands. Ha. You shouldn't have come here. And I sure am in the mood to make new friends. Woo wee! <laughs> Go on, little girl. The shadows draw near. Oh no. And you oh, hi, all in the background. Alone. We both know how this ends. 
fuck yeah. Let's see how far she bends. Play to the audience. Play, Play to the, the audience. audience. On stage. <laughs> Oh. Hope everyone's having a great night. I guess I'm this evening's sacrifice. But I'll see what I can do. You deserve a good show. Big hand for your usual MC. <laughs> She's planned a brutal takedown just for me. Mori to retaste Salu Thomas. We who are about to die salute you. <laughs> Such a delicate thing. What a find. I hope she doesn't mind when we pull off her wings. Maybe you don't know who I am. Are you trying for a to fight? Fight? No, for undercut fight? her confidence. Actually, yeah, yeah, fuck her up. Would you see the Persephone? Oh boy, a celebrity dissing me. Now remind me, people, my memory. Sorry, not about Yo? history. Underworld, now that rings a bell. To the king of hell, it's hazy, Hades. So you're his lady before my time because I'm such a baby. Pop quiz, what do you think that this is? Some little poetry slam. Cute rhymes, but you're out of time. Do you know who I am? Maybe you don't know who I am. Please teach me my ABCs. Me, I never featured in Euripides. So where are you now? Well, look around. Good fall, good fall. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Don't you have any idea what you're dealing with, child? Surprise, surprise. Coins on your eyes. Give them to the fairy man. Ooh. Get it in your little head. Is anyone here impressed? Oh no, what would Calliope say? What would Calliope say? I don't think I can say that. Yeah, we can't. Ah. Oh. Out of interest, is anyone here dead? No one? Yeah, that's probably what I would have said. Hey, let's prove that we're alive. Let me hear you. People on my right. Here we go. I think either I can feel your pain or go for the kill, but I I go with I can feel your pain. Go for the kill. Oops. Oh no. I, I wanted more rap. I'm sorry. Step two. Step on. <laughs> Muse. Oh, Muse. I, either. I, After what you did to oh, yeah. Yeah, she and Calliope had a thing. This is very obvious. Yeah. I don't. I just kill you and wipe the floor with you. Don't use that word. You have to fight to use that word. You don't go in and take. That's your biggest mistake. For Calliope's sake. I do. Yeah, go green. Like, check, please. 
<laughs> no. No, you've earned your answers. Whew. Good work, team. That was one hell of a number. <laughs> That was great. That I went all over the place, and I love it. Years ago, that we were able to go so aggressive and then just pull back at the very last minute. Tired of being like, branded we could have killed, <laughs> but we didn't. Oh, well, we that's did, good, that's good. but then we all did the other thing. wither away without a fight. I knew how she felt. So I gave her the apartment. How old well, do you know her? Yeah. So you must that know was... better than anyone what she's been up to. Not exactly. Calliope and I haven't spoken for at least two years. After I heard the news, I went to the apartment well, and that. turned it upside mm -hmm. down. I had to know the truth. Still cleaner than Apollo's you. house. I didn't find anything. <laughs> Nothing to say what she had been involved with, or, or gotten into, or who she might have been fighting with. That, that tells us a bit. Tells it the worst that part. means one of two things. Either whatever happened to her was sudden, or it was secret. I suppose you're right. Calliope was never one to keep secrets. When she was doing something, everyone knew about it. None of you were talking to her. Who would she tell? You're clever. Maybe there's a chance Calliope chose Yeah! <laughs> if it she wasn't likes Grace, that us. means someone else was behind Calliope's death. Someone who could keep their involvement hidden. One of us. Does it have to be an idol? You thought I killed Calliope. Couldn't it have been some other mortal? Despite how we might look, it's not a simple matter to kill an idol. It was difficult enough to believe you had done it. <laughs> if another mortal killed her, they somehow escaped detection. We found nothing, no evidence of a battle. You looked? Of course we looked. What do you think was happening while you waited? If Calliope was attacked elsewhere, even magic revealed no trace of it. The murder was done by a murderer. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, did you say magic? Wait, wait, wait. Did you say magic? <laughs> you can battle me through a song in a world of your own creation, and yet magic is beyond belief? Well, well it's, it's been sure. a, big, I just been a long day. We have our powers just as you have yours. I can grow a field of corn like nobody's business. Some would say our powers are also magic, but true magic is a different and older Ooh. power. Hecate's domain. Oh, like let's go, let's go. <laughs> we shouldn't rule it out. We haven't tried everything yet. Corn, to, to hide the murderer. <laughs> Did, Calliope... Did Calliope have any enemies? The way you talk about her, she must have. <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I missing? Well, Calliope had a way of making people angry. She could be... argumentative. Yes, but enough to make enemies who wanted her dead? Y'all seem to hold grudges awfully enemy. easily here. That doesn't mean they didn't exist. Yeah, only one person in this room has killed an idol before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, look. Well, think we're all thinking. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. What about Pan? So many questions here. What about Pan? He showed up at my place out of nowhere, right after I left the chorus. He did what? I have to wonder what his angle is. <laughs> he has one, that's for certain. Though I've never thought of him as a killer. It would be too... messy. And if there's Still, one thing Pan is known for, it's his cleanliness. Him to show up so quickly is... Odd. But Athena? What about if Athena's the killer? What about Athena? She seemed awfully insistent on declaring This is a bad guilty, idea, but, uh... Athena? <laughs> no, Athena follows the rules. Well, I no longer well... suspect her. Athena has one goal, and one goal only. To protect the idols. And that included Calliope. If Calliope was trying to us all mad with her make a fuss, break her own then that would be a threat to the idols. Yeah. Hmm. They're not still suspects. Well, no. well I mean, maybe, maybe Apollo, but... I, I, I don't like either of these choices, because I should... We should 100% not tell Athena. I don't know about that. I don't want to plant think... things in these two minds. We only just got Persephone to stop trying to murder us. I mean, exactly. 
Couldn't we Bye. go to Athena with this? If you've changed your minds and you're both part of the chorus... Athena would be sympathetic, but... The die has been cast. Ugh. She won't go back on the edict. Not without Say it in Latin, evidence. Troy. <laughs> oh, now you are <laughs> you acted on the information she had. If we want to sway her, we need something better. This feels... Oh, we can still hear the beat of the club. <laughs> it's so downstairs. good. I, I like to imagine that Eros is just do. outside the door you listening. You know the idols. <laughs> don't you have any ideas? I told you I wouldn't be of much help, Grace. Oh, oh you sad one. sack. Mm. That's unsurprising. When are you ever of help to anyone but yourself? Hey, says Thanks the woman who forced Grace to challenge her rather than answer a simple question. Calliope Ooh, died, in Apollo. Calliope, who came with us all the way from the old world. You think I don't know that? Are you forgetting what the muses meant to me? Well, should should I give up? No, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop it! Stop fighting! Is this what the idols are like? You just what? Live forever and never get over anything? <laughs> <laughs> Super. Becoming a god was such a gift. Wow. Uh, oh boy. Glad we asked. Another one? Another one! Another one? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Never getting over shit verified European moment. Blinded by fire, one match did you strike that consumed you? Oh, they all have paintings of her. Such a fate, you are blinded. God of the sun hides from his own eyes. What would you know about fate? When you say that you knew her, she was family to us. Yet you don't hesitate to accuse her. Oh, queen without a throne, go bitter with few. You will look something. Yeah, that's to betray you. Stop this. There's more to see. Apollo, your help is not needed here. Go ahead and abandon another muse. How could you throw that gauntlet at me? Could your heart shrivel any further? You abandoned me to a, a terrible fate. I love how operatic this is. Yes. It's far too late. late. You know how far I've been before I snapped. This, this is not Wow, you have no you choice. This helps no one! There he is, God of the Sun. Aren't you a queen with all that that means? Stop looking. Oh, he looks so cool. Yeah. No, go back! <laughs> well, now he's sad again. know what's important and you do Ooh. Ooh. oh no oh no Apollo Apollo follow him or stay Apollo yeah stick. yeah it's fine yeah <laughs> by a dumpster where, where he belongs <laughs> Persephone will never let this go No. Nah. What was that about? Just, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell was that? You were one step away from full thunder and lightning. Bad Zeus's thing. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Especially Oof. around my family. That's why I've tried to avoid my fellow idols for so long. I don't like who I am when I'm with them. No. Mm hmm. I know what you mean. I'll be 14 around my parents forever. Try living in their house for a thousand years. Ooh, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> oh, oh. At least coming here was useful. You have a better idea of where to start looking, right? Do we? Eros's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still help? I thought you'd decide that getting me into the underworld was enough. What? Bring you to Persephone and then shrug? Not my problem now? 
Is that your, your thing? thing? No! Oh, no! He's sad enough already. Uh, either, either one of the sides. Yeah, I think so. What I meant to say is, thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Oh no! I think even if we don't choose the romance options, Apollo's down bad for anyone who's a muse. With for anyone what? Who is a muse? Oh yeah. Really not I have to ask, is Athena really not an option? She wouldn't see what you see? At all? I respect Athena. She has dragged us into the modern age, sometimes kicking and screaming. She's why we're alive. He is easily But if muse? I said that her need to keep us <laughs> safe didn't drive <laughs> to extremes, I'd be lying. You represent a risk, Grace. To her, that is more important than any notion of compassion or justice. They're being awfully quick to dismiss that Athena is determined to protect us at any cost, but there's no way she killed this lady who was causing problems. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely uh -huh. not. Uh -huh. I'm back in the maybe Athena did it zone, but we, we should be smart. behind this knows that and is counting on it. The classic How? first act misdirect. No one could have known you would become the muse. Maybe they just don't We're want just the muse around. We're just musing here? The why <laughs> is a good question. They just don't have a good voice good for musical theater. Though I'm not sure who would benefit. Something to keep in mind. Where do we look then? I need to give it some thought. This won't be easy. If another idol is behind this, they know us well. They had a plan. So you don't know where to look next? <laughs> I need time to sort it out. Just be patient, Grace. Give me like a week, you know? Is there anything <laughs> yeah. in the meantime? Some place I can look? Don't you want to relax? You haven't rested since this began. Relax? Who can relax? I've been sentenced to death, Apollo. Fair point. <laughs> Even so, go home, Grace. The next time you see me, I'll have a better notion of what to do. <sighs> Fine. But I'm holding you to that. Also, like, we should check in with Freddy. Because, uh... Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because we were going to go to Apollo's place with Freddy and then just fully didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, because we, we were like, let's go, and then Grace was like, actually, that's too dangerous. Let's not do it. Which I respect. Maybe, though. Start of Act 2? That feels <laughs> like a good place to uh, call, call it for... Ah. Call it for today, because I've got a feeling things are only going to get more dramatic from here. And I'd hate That's to cut us point. off in the middle of something. As, That's true, as yeah. Compelling as it would be to end on a on like a nice little like, oh, let's see where we go next. Starting the next stream would mean that we're basically starting in the middle of it as opposed to starting at the beginning of an act. So Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, oh this... dang, it kills me. It kills me. <laughs> I wanna play more right now. <laughs> I wanna play more right now, but uh we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. <laughs> we're gonna pay attention. Uh and we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> The chat's like, it's gotta be Loki. I don't care that this isn't his pantheon. He's the exact <laughs> kind to do this. He infiltrated. <laughs> He's snuck in pretending to be Hermes. Exactly. Uh, it's just like a Scandinavian guy from Wisconsin who's actually been Loki this whole time. <gasps> uh-huh. Uh, yep. Uh, so yeah, he you know, unfortunately he did catch us kind of right at the end. Uh, but You know what I hope we'll happens? I hope that yeah. as much as I love this Hermes, I kind of hope that they die and Freddy becomes Freddy Mercury. A? Boo. Boo. A? Boo. Okay, good. Boo. good. That's, that's what I wanted. Yes, yes. Give me your hatred. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay. Before we go, let's 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 talk like lay it out like how do we feel about this game? Like artistically, musically, story wise. Obviously so many thoughts, but let's let's try to bring it together before we before we hop on out. It's so cool. The 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 highlight has gotta be that song with Persephone. Mm. Holy yeah. moly. I'm actually, I'm actually going to be devil's advocate here. I think that uh, the fact that each of the three directions you can take sounds musically so distinct means that yeah. because we kept switching between full confrontational and like uh, smart option, and then at the very end we were like, actually, I understand, let's be compassionate about this, meant that like listening through it, it sounds like three different songs, um, sort of switching between them, especially because like going from uh, you know music to rap is a bit of a lurch. I think that it sounds very powerful, uh, but as a 
byproduct of the way that the the game is laid out and the songs are constructed, you end up with the situation where it's like, okay, that feels a little bit disjointed, intentionally so. Yeah. Uh, but basically, if you played through it and picked all one color choice, I'm sure you would get something that sounds very like you could, you know, slap the sucker on Broadway. You, you should, what you expect. You should buy the um, soundtracks to experience what that's like. Yeah, exactly. All four of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I think that uh. This is probably a case where, like, the different songs uh, will work to different degrees uh, just by virtue of how they're constructed. Music is a very Im uh, imprecise art form in a lot of ways. So I think that the, the duet between Freddie and Pan, or I guess the trio between Freddie, Pan, and Grace, uh, I thought that worked great. You could yeah. barely tell that we were switching between different tracks, but this one it was very clear. See, um, the, the counterpoint to that is that the, the Shades line uh, underlying the second rap sequence was a melodic callback to an earlier point in the song. Bef I'm not saying they're completely disconnected. Yeah. It's just, you know, you need to be listening for it. You can catch the light motifs if you are aware of them. Um, but in the moment, it's like, okay, this does kind of feel like we're scrubbing between different, like, like radio stations with covers of the same kind of song. Um, <laughs> that, that's fair. For, for me, I think that worked really well because it, felt, it felt musically tense in the yeah. same way it felt narratively tense. And building towards that kind of compassionate release at the last possible moment just yeah. really did it for me. Yeah, I, I'm going with Adam here on this one. I think that the fact that it is such a, a, a like a tonal like shift from like, we're being so aggressive, we're being so aggressive, we're being so aggressive. And in the last moment, we're about to make the kill shot. We're like, but come on, we don't need to do this. And then yeah. the music reflects that. I think like in that moment, I was like, oh, Oh, okay, this this is really really cool. I I like what it's able to do there. Whereas like Red, you're right. Like in in the first yeah. um song with with Freddie and and Pan, we're like no matter what we do, even though the the like character wise different decisions being made, it very much like feels like the same song all the way through. Mm -hmm. I I kind of like that. There are some songs where it does do that, and some songs where it doesn't. The what's hitting me is the variety. Even yeah. in these first, like, what, four songs that we've seen, there's so much different kinds of, of tone, instrumentation, um, just musicality in the lyrics, like, whether it's more of, like, a kind of, like, talking song or more of, like, a, like, real, like, operatic kind of singy song, like what Apollo was doing at the end of the last one. I, oh, no. I, I like the variety a lot. See, that was that one was interesting to me, too, the one where it's just Apollo and Persephone and Grace in the office kind of having this escalating argument. It had that feeling of, like, um, like a Broadway musical where it's sung through. Uh, so you got... It, it, that one, it was a lot harder. Like, it didn't feel like it had as much of a rhyme scheme. It really felt like these could... You could be talking, but instead you're singing. Uh, and that's not... There's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just one of the... Um, principles of musical theater when it's not sung through is that uh you sing when you are too emotional to speak you dance when you are too emotional to sing uh but a musical that's sung through doesn't follow that principle because there's basically no talking it's all sung and the beginning part of that argument felt a bit like that too it's like you didn't really get the clever like rhyming or poetry it just felt like there was a melody added to effectively dialogue um and uh it, again like there's so much music in this game and There's it's all incredibly impressive. So it's just much. some of it. Some of it hits me a little bit more than others. Like I, I'm, I'm a poetry bitch. I like it when things rhyme and scan. So when That's I fair. run into a song that doesn't That's do that, I'm like, eh, eh. This is always. I will go to like live, like bookstores and flip through the fantasy new release sections because everyone thinks they need to be Tolkien and puts poetry in them, but none of them actually know how poetry works. <laughs> so that's my enrichment. So like when I'm saying that, it's all the love in my heart. I think that this this is incredibly well put together. But there have been because we're hitting such a scatter shot of different forms of music. Uh, yeah. There have been parts where I'm like, that's exactly what I wanted, and parts where I'm like, that's fine. You know? Yeah. And I yeah. think that that is perfectly fair. The, I mean, there's so much music in this. I think, mm. uh, right? I, I'd be really curious, right? It does just a different playthrough, change the songs in a way that hit for different people, and that's, I mean, yeah, the, the role playing yeah. part of the role playing musical. I think, uh, just what an incredibly strong beginning. Uh, on a pure like historical mythological perspective, it's clear that they have read a lot of source material yeah, mm. and have made really strong, confident decisions about, like, what those mean and how those echo into today. Uh, that ju yeah. it just, it just 
works so well for me. And I yeah, also I mean, like how they, they gave themselves uh, a lot of uh, freedom of movement by basically being like, we are not going to answer every question. We are not going to tell you where every single god that you're expecting to see is. Uh, Grace is not the kind of person to sit down and be like, okay, where's this guy? Where's that guy? Um, which is good because that means that they don't need to do a lot of hard world building in places that aren't necessarily going to come up. And they have the freedom to have characters just turn up or not as expected. Yeah. Um, so, like, I, I've looked through the IMDb page for the voice cast, so I know basically all the big names that are or are not going to appear, and there are some interesting absences. Um, and I'm curious if that'll ever come up in the game, or if it just won't be addressed, because it's like, hey, there have been a bunch of these guys, it's been a rough several millennia, who knows where they all are. Uh, yeah. So this is a very clever way to just world-build an urban fantasy setting without having to lock in a bunch of stuff and, and confining themselves as, as writers and world-builders. Yeah. So, uh, long story short, uh, I think we're all in agreement that uh, we love it. Oh, this, this game fucking slaps. slaps. This yeah. game, <laughs> this game absolutely rules. This game uh, slaps. Uh, we'll be back as soon as we can make the schedules work uh, uh, to play more of this, because holy moly, I am sad that we have to hit a pause menu at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. damn. Oh, I, it's going to be hard to not play through this this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Um... That being said, since we're coming up on the end of stream, uh, I actually do need, uh, have a whole lot of thank yous, because there's about, you know, uh, 50 people who follow the stream. Um, so I want to take a moment to thank all of you, assuming I can make it work correctly. <laughs> so, uh... Regardless, uh, there's a whole lot of people. Uh, I'll just click back into the chatting one. Uh, oh, now I'm back. Well, uh, it finally worked. Uh, I appreciate uh, the page from not working, but you all saw your names. So, uh, the technology failed me, but I appreciate every single one of you who followed, subscribed, or otherwise supported it. Uh, last note before we actually end, um, if you like this, I'll actually be back on Sunday checking out some demos, including having a dev interview from a demo from the Philippines called San Fernando. So if you like that, we'll see you on Sunday, and otherwise keep an eye on the stream page or in the Discord link right there to be notified for when we figure out when more Stray Gods and when all the other streams are going to happen. Okay, with that, I hope you all have a good rest of your night, uh, and yeah, bye-bye! <laughs>